Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I've started up a troll delver today. Was this stream working properly? I hope so. Good, looks like my stream is working properly, so I was going to try and get a heavy armor because there's a special heavy armor title I can get. Also, it looks like there's a staircase up immediately, which is kind of nice. Uh, those are things I can kill. Ooh, that orc wizard on the other hand, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I give it a try, but I'm kind of worried about how much stuff is coming along here. Whoa, that's everything. Um, ah, no, I got confused. I killed the um, wizard, though. Okay, good. This is looking fine. I'll just get some more strength, I think. That should help with my damage, help with wearing armor, help with all the good stuff. Yeah, at least trolls start off reasonably tough. Okay, well, it's third level now, which is a help. Because uh, I got a priest and stuff up here. Well, multiple priests. Okay. Ow. No. Um, that's not fine. That's three priests. I could take the escape hatch. Oh, there's a lot of creatures here. Hold on, let me just pull this imp around the corner. I wanted to get the attention on one of these, although I think it got all of them, because I think the hound spiked at me. Okay. Hey, level four, that's pretty good. So I got a ring of decks. I can always do with a bit of decks. Makes me a little bit more accurate at hitting things at least. Hey, there's another way up. Hopefully with less priests this time round. Um, this is rather close to the priest one, but if I just yeah, go this way. Could get a more talisman, don't really need it. But anyway, I get to a staircase. Oh, it's rushing water, it's dungeon level three. I might be able to go for that. That's all. That's almost certainly a wand of flame. I recognize this board. It's really tough with like the cobalt demonologists and stuff because the wand of flame doesn't really work quite right. So I might just exclude that off. Like you can kind of steam the area out, but it doesn't work perfectly. I could just read a magic mapping here. Get to the sewer. That's an option. Um, distant. Okay, I gotta try and listen out for it. I think. Whoa! I just saw some lightning flash in real life. Hey, this is a sewer. Excellent. Yep, and there goes the thunder. I'm not sure if the, my mic's picking it up. Oh, it is too. Huh. <laughs> oh, apparently it's a stormy day today. It was kind of nice and sunny, I think, earlier today. And now it's not. <laughs> Come on, get me out of this web. There we go. I'll just mod these dudes. Alright, well, let's pull them back again. They're a bit slow, so pulling them back can take a little while. But it's worth fighting them one at a time. Also, I think I can find the shallow water just fine. I think. Because uh, I'm a troll. They're pretty big. All right, well, let's head on in. See what the sewer's up to. Ah, uh, it's one of these ones. All the little doors. Oh, yeah. I just, um... Oh, there's Pyjit. Okay. Well, that's worse. Um... Do the haste. I'll just try... Nope, that's not working. I'm gonna try one of these, see what I get. So that's a little bit of healing. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these. Might. Might's pretty good. Yeah, it should let me kill Pudge. Hey, I'm gonna take his armor. I can be a troll wearing troll leather armor. It's like a second skin. Fits perfectly. Well, I guess that's fine. Yeah, might's are pretty good at this point in the game. <laughs> Alright, I could probably just auto explore. Ooh, there's brain worm. That shouldn't be too bad though now. Oh, another brain worm. I don't think... Do they trade intelligence? I know they did it at some stage, but I'm not sure if they have. Like, I'm not really sure what the recent one does. I know it, like, drains magic or something. Anyway, I think I can get out of here. That was nice armor, though, so that was definitely well worth going in there. Now I just gotta find my way out, because I haven't got to the first little dungeon yet. Um, let me look at the shop. So, it was Book of Misfortune, Minor Magic, Spatial Translocations. There's, like, blink momentum strike less beckoning than the Spatial Translocations. I don't know if this character will really get any magic. I mean, they are a troll after all. Hey, this way up. Second level of the dungeon. I'm a sixth level character. I should have no problems with the second level of the dungeon, right? Because I've kind of killed quite a few creatures on my way up. Because trolls are just... They start off really powerful, which is really nice for a delver. Alright. I keep on pulling these guys back into this little corridor. Oh, there's a... There's a snake, but I can deal with those. Well, I've got one curing if I get badly poisoned. But otherwise, I'm just going to have to kind of lie on regen and stuff. Hey, first level of the dungeon. There we go. Oh, is there even a jewelry shop? That's kind of nice. 
So Spirit Guardian Hobbs the Invisible, not the most useful. A Fledging could be useful though. Because I have some stage to use a shield. Willpower could be useful. To resist corrosion, resist cold and fire. I don't know, maybe. I don't know if I have any money anyway to buy any of that stuff, so I'm gonna have to save up a little bit. Oh, another book drop. My, oh, why am I getting the wrong key? It might have a manual or something. No, it's got a grimoire with Arc Jewel, Dreadful Rod, Mercury Vapors. Wait, that Mercury Vapors. Huh. I feel like a green icon, I guess it makes sense. Toxic Radiance, Mercury Vapors together, Sting. They don't look like quite the right sort of books. Um, Lightning Spy, Air Strike, Static Dust Charge. Yeah, nothing that a troll would want to get. There are some stage you're going to have to win all the troll mage combos, but you could probably just turn them into fighters if you wanted to. Oh, I'm trying to remember what god I was going to go with. I was thinking I was maybe trying to get Jeeva, is that right? I don't know. I, I can't even remember. Um. Oh, what have we got here? Black Knight Smarting? If only I was some sort of uh, Niger or something, that would be excellent armor, but I'm not. I'm a troll. Glowing whip, rude quarter stuff. All right, well, those are just, um, nothing special. They don't compete with my claws that are doing 19 damage. Did I set any limits on these skills? I don't think so. I might set a limit of like 10 or something. Uh, I'll divide you 12 with unarmed. I still say I need to get some throwing and hopefully some throwing weapons as well so that I can kill hydras. Oh, this dude's got poison. He didn't live very long, thankfully. <sighs> Eventually, I'll get the spat. All right, well, there's, oh, Blinking Scroll is definitely something I need. I don't need a charm weapon. I do need the teleport. I actually can't afford that at the same time as the Blinking, so I might just get the Blinking. Yeah, teleport I need. Maybe vulnerability eventually. Oh, hey, Dennis Bloodnook. How's it going? How's Vanilla? Um, I mean, it's had a few changes. It's doing. It's pretty good. How's, uh, what is it? Stoat soup? What have we got to identify? I've got these scrolls. Vulnerability. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need ones for sale then. I've got some enlightenment. Wait, was it Soap Soup or Soap Soup, right, that you played? I don't know if I've ever played Soap Soup because it's not on the servers, or maybe it is. Hey, just the exit to the dungeon. All right, well, I finally found the exit. And now we should probably just head down again. No wonder, uh, trolls are one of the few things that can kind of do a delver and be really, um, really powerful at dungeon level five. I mean, they do have to get a few kills. Ooh, that's almost certainly Robin. Let's just, let's just pull these dudes around the corner, I think. Robin does bite them up, and then they do ridiculous damage, so... Gotta try and pull these back. We went on holiday for two weeks. There was a power cut at your house the first night. Stuff didn't come back, and since we do all, uh, variant scoring, it has... Uh... Oh, it's all burst for, like, two weeks? Right. Yeah, because you, you had a server, like, running at your place, right? Or something. Man. So, like, mm, I wonder how many people have played during that time. I guess you can't even query that if, like, the tracking has gone down or anything. Interesting. Anyway, what's this I uh, offering? Zen, Ushke, or of a human? Ah, uh, no. I don't think so. I might just, I kind of want to go with Jeeva with this character. Be a slime troll. I can't pass a wall, can I? That would be kind of useful. I do technically have a wand of digging. Is it worth it for a curing uh, an identified and unknown potion? Um, I don't know. Oh, it's bee scrolls. Bee cruel scoring. That's you? Okay. Bee caden cruel scoring. Goon cruel scoring. And well, your own scoring? Whoops, but that's uh, all caught up now. Oh, so it, uh, I guess the servers actually do record like the files, right? So you just... Had to transfer those across at some stage. We've got Nebelix, we've got Quaslol, got Rue, got Trog. I mean, these are decent gods. I don't know, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna try for Jeeva. I think that's a good idea. I might just grab, like, I don't know, Shining One or something. Someone that's easy to abandon and then just go with Jeeva when I get them. That is the plan. Alright, what's next? 
Scorpion, that sounds fine to me. That was a longbow, good old longbow. I mean, that would be really good if you're an archer character, but not going to work for a troll. I have tried, like, archer trolls before, and they, I think... And I think I never managed to win an archer troll. Um, that's no go, okay. Let's get his attention and pull it back. Yeah, there we go. So I can fight it separately from some of those other creatures. Like, this priest guy, for example. There's all the priests that were trying to block my initial way up. What do I want to identify? I mean, I guess I do a potion I've got two of. Cancellation is fine. A scroll I've got two of. Teleport, all right. Well, I was probably going to get that identified pretty soon anyway, because there was a teleport for sale. But I guess it's, uh, it's less important to go buy that one now that I've already got it identified. All right, back down to the fifth level. This is basically where I started with this character. I'm glad I didn't run to the sleep cap immediately when I started this game. That would have been a little tragic, I imagine. Um, although I started with like a staircase in view, so I might have been a run away, although probably not. Because that was the staircase with all the priests, so I guess probably not. Hey, it's a temple. How do I get in? Is it a down staircase? Oh, it is. So I gotta go down one more level before I can get into my temple. That's still reasonably early, right? I mean, it's effectively a dungeon level 6 temple, but... That's still not bad. A white mess with a bow when you can cast large rock? Exactly! No, I do need some large rocks, though. <laughs> Yeah, trolls are, are trolls are decent at throwing, right? What's their aptitude? Minus one? Yeah, that's pretty decent for a troll aptitude. And uh, the rocks certainly do enough damage. Okay, where's the way down? Uh, let's try this up staircase. Hey, that did it. I barely had to touch that level of the temple. Wait. Hold up. Um, there's no shining one here. Is there an elevator at least? It's an Okawaru. There's an Ashen Zari. There's... Oh, man. A oh, minus one is pretty decent. Anyone if you can throw large rocks? Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, minus one's not terrible just with throwing in general, but when you have large rocks to go with it, it definitely works. Do I still go deep or do I just go with... This might be... Hmm... It might be silly, but I'm actually going to go with Chamber of Eidos. Because <laughs> there's, uh, there's no um, good gods in here. I think Chamber of Eidos might work. Come on, I just want to take the staircase there. Does this dude going to notice me? Come on, guy. There we go. Got into the corridor. I just didn't want to like get his attention out in the middle of nowhere or something. But I should be able to get really good uh, like unarmed damage with Chamber of Eidos. It's just a matter of getting some sort of, uh, escape options. Ooh, that's a boomerang. That's, that's exactly what I want to see. So I can take this guy's boomerang. Alright. And I might, once I get heavy up, which will probably be a long time, honestly, because I'm a troll, I will be able to get some both good evasion and armor class, I imagine. Oh, the Rune Spear, Glowing Rapier, Rune Great Club, a bunch of Quarter Stars and Tridents and stuff. No, there's nothing good there. It's, oh, this dude's quite fast uh, compared with me because I'm with Chamber so that's right. And uh, what's my move to like 1.3 or something? Yeah, it's definitely get, going up a bit. Do I get a stat increase already? I get a plus two to my stats, which isn't huge. I could technically use this dude's Giant Spike Club, but I'm not that interested in it. I know that people really like Chamber and also like turn-based characters, because you effectively have more regen, like, um, it only takes one, like, turn in terms of scoring to move, even if it takes, like, two units of time, which means you're effectively getting, like, twice the regen or something for the amount of turn count you're going through. Alright, ninth level. Um, I still just want strength. Yeah, this character, I mean, Chamber just will fix everything else. Oh, there's the good gods. They're all together. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. Can't even remember what Chamber Angel's Wrath does. I know that you keep the slowed movement speed until you wear it off. Well, that's too hypothetically optimal for you. You just want to win? Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm massively into the turn count runs. 
Because I, I always find, like, I don't know, they get a bit frustrated because you need a bit of luck. Like, you need lots of skill, and then you need to play, like, so many times until you get good luck. It's just not really my thing. Oh, it's Ozzy Euler's ghost, and no Hexling of Petas. Alright, I've got a freezing brand. We've got iClix Ghost, a Cobalt Hunter of Heavily Acquired. That sounds like a pretty fun combo. I would totally play one of those. I feel like I might have already done something similar to that. In fact, I can ask the bot. Um, Cobalt Hunter. I might just ask him what god I had on my Cobalt Hunters. So I've won one Cobalt Hunter. I was a Gozag. Oh yeah, fair enough. We've got Vehumans Ghost. Wait, this guy's actually called Vehumans? That's kind of funny. They're a purple draconian chaos knight zomb. They're not even with Vehumans. I feel like Vehumans should totally be with Vehumans. It's kind of funny how you can literally just name yourself after God. Ow, that dude did some damage to me. Um, I'm gonna zap with a bit of light. And then claw it to death. There we go. I mean, it did have a glaive, so it was going to do some pretty good damage. Ooh, nice blinking. Um, hmm. Oh, I can't use my haste. I got a decent number of those. But Jamie Angels is just not going to like them. No, not that one. Where's G Vessel? Over there. She's hasted up as well. This doesn't work. Might start a teleport. I should read those identifiers. Um, I don't want to kill Dowd though. Oh, woohoo! That's a lot of dudes. I think I might just get into this wall. Ah, uh, do I take a proper choke point or do I just fight from here? I think I just fight from here. Does allow that pull um dude to hit me though. Might step back a little bit. There we go. Now I can zap these guys with a wand of light, and hopefully I should be fine now. Oh, I'm not doing so well. I maybe should have done a prompt joke point, but anyway, one more thing of zapping with light, so I should be fine. This guy's got a net, doesn't it? I presume it was a net, yeah. I maybe should have checked that it was actually a net. Um, Ooh, rocks. Okay, I got rocks. Next go to get is probably throwing in that case. Hey, that's Juvessa. Uh, hold up. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Two rocks in the face. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm not even, like, skilled in the rocks, as it turns out. Alright, let's pull this dude back as best I can anyway. Oh, so I better be reading my identifiers, aren't I? I should go do that. So I got three identifiers. I can do this potion, which is magnification. That's not too bad. Charm weapon's a bit useless, unfortunately, but most characters would like that. Ooh, an acquirement. It's a straight up acquirement. Um. This is questionable, but can I just get like. Eight armor skill and then read that acquirement? <laughs> um, slightly biased towards armor. By getting a bit of skill. That's the plan anyway. I'm not sure whether it's worthwhile. Usually I'd read all those immediately, but I, yeah, I'm just going to try and bi bias it towards armor because that's what this character wants. I mean, there's definitely nowhere near any sort of guarantee that I'll get some armor on it. Um, all right, what I've got? Uh, I'll do another scroll. Jarred armor. Is there more reason to try and get some armor, I guess? Oh, what was that? I had probably some sort of weapon. Oh, no. A robe of fire resist. Do I want my troll regen or do I want this robe? Let me just check this one out. If I put this on, I gain an armor class. Um, I lose a regen. I don't know. They're, they're pretty similar. It's per going to be useful if I find a volcano, though. So I'll keep a, keep a hold of it. Oh, hey, B. Come on. Notice me, B. Yeah, it'd be so much faster than me. I'm definitely not gonna be able to escape one of those. Um, did I get the... didn't really get the abilities yet. That's fair enough. Oh, whoops. Uh, I let the bee get a free attack of me, basically. I know there's still another bee around here. Okay, I come with a leather armor, of course. Not unless it's like troll leather armor or something. I can put on the resist corrosion. There's... Presumably going to be... Oh, yep, jellies. That's exactly why I need that resist corrosion. 
My attributes at plus seven, that's not bad. Alright, well I can identify one of these degenerations. How's that army going for? So I'm getting close to the point where I just read the um acquirement and hope for the best. That's a good old maglip altar. Someone's been, I don't know, maybe doing some sacrifices or something on that altar. I don't really know what's uh, quite what they up with the whip and stuff. Okay. It's five of this ring with a bit of strength. That's fine. What else do we have? Don't you really need the amnesia? The mutation's fine. Curing's fine. Gotta kill the electric yield. Do I have a flame? I don't have a flame. Can I at least sneak up on it? Mm, it's kind of a questionable way to kill them, but I guess it works. Oh, curaris? Book of the Moon, identify five rocks. I mean, there's definitely some stuff here that I can grab. Let me look at these other shops or this other one shop. It's got, oh, come on, wrong button again. Bloodstained Ice Dragon Scales. I mean, that's an option. I definitely need the fire resist if I had that, but I might just grab the rocks. I think those are pretty useful. And a Curaris. And I guess I'll do the identifier as well. Fave Chase Loud Spam FTW. Or oh, Faith Chase Lounge Bab? I mean, that's an option. Wait, was there a Faith Amulet there? There was, right? Huh. Not that I can afford it yet, but it's definitely an option. I might just leave those things for now. Um, I don't know. I'm really questioning whether I should be getting the armor skill right now, but I guess it might work in my favor. Oh, hey, Prince Ruben. I did have the Curari, right? I might. I probably should head him with the Curari. He's not resistant to it or anything. Yeah, that means him so easy. Uh, hmm. Curari up this guy, but I'm not sure that running towards it was the right thing. In fact, if I hit him with another Curari, it might just die. There we go. Right, but I'm going to have real trouble with archers because I'm so slow at getting up to them. I was meant to be getting the throwing, but I got distracted by getting armor to try and... I really don't feel like getting armor is the right thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sometimes you don't have to do the right thing, right? You can do what's fun. Oh, you're out of here, Dennis. All right, see you later. Oh, and hey, Sally. How's it going, Sally? I'll just fight these guys in this corridor. I don't think there's anything else really to worry about there. Or oh, Che, we gotta go full fun at this point. Exactly. No, definitely. Um, oh, come on, I just want that fighting to get to like eight or something. Oh, no. I wrote, I had an enlightenment, right? Do I have anything else for willpower? Oh, you're redoing the CCC? Wait, the cruel cosplay challenge? After a point of splatting your first attempt to a dungeon level 14 vampire knight? Wait, that's a really early vampire knight. Those are usually adepts. Right, well, I'll definitely enlighten here, but I'm still going to be able to be banished. I know that's not going to be perfect. Yeah, 17%. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left a Rolcha, but oh well. I got to get her with the Curari so that she's slowed down at least. Um, I'll throw a rock at her. Oh, she's invisible. You know, have such a small chance of heading. Oh, confused. Let's not be confused. Uh, she's having the one of confusion at me, isn't she? But I got the extra willpower. There we go. Got it with the rocks. That's what I like. I had no reason to fight it. It wasn't guarding, like, the bolts or something. It must have been guarding something. Like, you probably would just see a random vampire, right? Oh, the dude has Curari. I see. I guess I can pull it reasonably close and just kill it off and add to my Curari collection. Oh. I forgot it would go invisible and then blink around so you couldn't tell where it was. Yeah, because I... Mm, I mean, I guess them go invisible is always a problem, even later on, but... I don't know, Vampire Knights are absolutely terrifying on Dungeon Level 14. Or oh, it's just an undead-themed vault as the boss enemy. Wow. Huh. I mean, I know I've had, like, uh, them that early before, but that's definitely crazy early to get them. Oh, the armor's so close to where I was going to read that acquirement. Can I sneak up? Hey, I did, I did decent sneaking there.
All right. I guess I go to the dungeon level 10. I don't know. Am I just going like good enough with the armor? Yeah, it's good enough. So let's get... I can get some throwing because that seems particularly useful. I'll just start with... Age. And I might get some other fighting skills at the same time. Okay, where's the requirement? Come on, please tell me. Oh, I didn't buy it enough towards armor, clearly. That's fine. There's a ring of resist corrosion, resist negative AC. I mean, that's fine. There's also money, a staff milk, or a manual of necromancy. I just take this ring, I think. It does contaminate me if we take it off, but I probably won't need to take it off in a hurry. So let's go uh, put that one on instead of my resist corrosion, obviously, because it's going to be just straight up better than that one. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's more AC, which is definitely what this character needs. Sue's gonna go invisible, isn't it? I could just throw a large rock at someone. I might just pull this guy upstairs. Otherwise, I'm definitely gonna get swamped there because I can see like the bees beginning to swamp and stuff. Oh, Sue's got a pole arm. It's not gonna quite work. Oh. Dude, there's distortion in there. I might just take another staircase. See if I can split these guys up a bit more. I mean, I'm probably just gonna have to throw rocks at the guy with distortion. Uh, Guardian Spirit is better than nothing, right? Definitely better than nothing. Have you tried many of the new spells? Unfortunately, not yet. Um, no, there's a lot of them that I just simply haven't used. I used the Magnavolt, but that's kind of about it, I think. I oh, wanted to try some, but you ended up just going conjuration focused. Yeah. No, I don't know. I haven't really got the chance either. Whoa, more lightning in real life. Definitely getting some interesting weather today. That almost certainly came through on the microphone, right? Oh, uh, yeah, replace a cheaper amulet with a whatever. So we've got Faith, of course. We've got Reflection, of course. That's a really cheap Reflection. Or a Scarf of Resistance. I mean, I probably just want the Scarf of Resistance, honestly. And then my Resist will be pretty good. Um... I don't think I've got Resist Electric, but I've got, like, Resist Corrosion, Resist Negative. If I put that one on, I'll have uh, a lot of the other Resist, like, Fire and Cold. Oh, I could still save up for the Ice Dragon armor if I wanted to, because I didn't get any uh, decent armor. Ooh, hey, I know what to do with these Boulder Beetles. I just gotta... Oh, come on, there's a plant in the way, of course. What? Wrong menu. Gotta curare them up. Oh, not a bee. Mmm... Could I curare the bee as well? Because it would probably kill it. It's only 50% to hurt. Alright, I'm just going to close the door, but I'm pretty much full health. Um, curare didn't last long, but I don't think the boulder beetle is going to be a problem. No, there we go. It's definitely dead. Oh. These wasps are kind of nasty. I might try curare this one, which of course I can't because there's a plant in the way. Yeah, because they like to slow you down and then eventually they'll get their um, paralysis off. And that can absolutely slaughter you if you don't have poison resist. Which actually, speaking of resist, I don't think I've got poison resist yet, which is probably a fairly important one to get. Uh, what's this guy got? Please don't be banished, man. He's got a flail of distortion. Oh, I did manage to rock it, unfortunately, so it did get a little bit of a chance there to send me to the abyss, which would not have been pleasant with this character. Oh, what's the bee doing? I might try and track it down, although I don't seem to be going so well at tracking down the bee. That guy, another guy with distortion is, right? Do I have a javelin? No, I have a wand of light. Um, I have a, I have god abilities, but I haven't got them going yet. Because I've just been focusing on the throwing. I mean, I could try and zap the dude with a wand of light. It's probably worthwhile just to try and take it out. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about me getting, well, getting banished by that guy anymore. Okay. The Ring of Intelligence, I doubt I'll need that. The Treasure Trove wants plus five Ice Dragon Scales to function. If I had plus five Ice Dragon Scales, I would probably wear them, to be perfectly honest. But maybe I'll be able to do that eventually. 
All right, any rocks on the ground? I wouldn't mind some large rocks. In fact, I've already got eight large rocks, which is actually pretty good. But often you get Cyclopses in here that will throw them. That's not a Cyclops, that's a two-headed ogre. Uh, oh, I just killed the Komodo dragon, sure. A Vias charge would be sick of this dude, just charge up to people. That would actually could be pretty, do good, pretty good. All the way after, I want to get invocations to at least five. Um, I want to get fighting, I want to get unarmed, and I want to get throwing up to 12, I think. Yeah, that'll do. I'll probably end up getting more invocations after that. No, do I have Fire's Electric Charge? A Max Force Capacity Coupling? Force of Fuselade? Unfortunately, probably not the right character to get a Force of Fuselade going, but I would love to get a Force of Fuselade going, because I've heard good things about it, but I've never managed to get it going, unfortunately. I bet the, uh, artifact ice dragon scales in the shops is at least plus five. Yeah, I mean, it might be able to hand it in, but I'm not sure it'll be worthwhile to hand it in for Trove. I've noticed the uh, Trove sometimes like to generate costs where you've already found an artifact. Yeah, they do, especially with the, like, the Unran dance. Um, but sometimes I think it just means the item will be coming up. I'm not entirely sure, but I know, yeah, sometimes they do. Or oh, the new Conjuration spell? But you don't have it? That's a shame? Yeah, because you went Conjuration, right? No, though, it sounds like it should be really good, but I haven't had a character that can actually cast it yet. Or just gloss over bookshops too much? Oh, there's too much info? Yeah, there's so many spells. Like, often, I'll just uh, go into the bookshop, and then I'll just um, search for the spell I want to see if it'll say it. Whoa, that lightning was bright. That must be close. No, no, it wasn't that close. That was a while before the thunder. Come on, just hit this dude. There we go. All right, well, I've done dungeon to 11, so the obvious next area to go is the lair, I think. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, so we've got a, just a wyvern. I might let that one get a bit closer. Come on, notice me, wyvern. Um, what am I saving up to buy? Probably just the ice dragon scales. Are these a thousand more gold? That might have to wait till after the orcish mines. We'll see. Oh, uh, Joseph with his funny hat. Wait, if Joseph appears, that means that Wiglaf doesn't appear or something? Are those two exclusive? Because they were both the dudes with the funny hats? Something like that. I can't remember the exact rules. Um, I feel like that might have been the case, though. Right. Right, these abilities aren't yet usable. I'll get them with a Curari, though. Um, I do have some throwing, so I can throw a rock at him. <laughs> oh yeah, that did the trick. No problems there. I don't know, I haven't fought the new Wiglaf much. I fought him, like, once at least, and I hit the Hellfire Mortar, which was fairly impressive. I seem to remember it being quite tough in the one fight that I did do against him. Thankfully, the character had fire resist, so they didn't get completely slaughtered. I don't know why I'm moving forwards here. It doesn't make any sense. I could run into the middle of these groups of guys. Come on, just wake up. I'm not stealthy, am I? I kind of am. I've got four points of stealth. I know my ring gives me one. Um, I got 30-something decks, right, because of Chamber of Eidos. Also, statue form. Statue form would be good at the moment. It doesn't help me towards my goals of getting the heavy armor title, though. Oh, that sounds a lot stronger than Joseph. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um... No, but Wiglaf is later on. You get them. I think I got them in the uh, spider nest. I don't know the exact branches they spotted, though. There's probably other ones as well. Oh, I'm not allowed to deter dots for some reason. I guess they frenzy up creatures or something. That's probably why. All right, don't need the intelligence. Don't need the more talisman. Should use the identifier. Don't need the haste. Um, I don't know. I'll just do potions, I guess. So got some magic. It's a berserk rage. 
if cat no, no that's a trash that's not cancellation it got to release i think i've already got cancellation identified up anyway um i'll do a scroll whatever it doesn't really matter of nature yeah i could probably drop that one all right a snail should step up there we go that should make that pretty easy because what you don't want is like the snail at the back of a pack of creatures so you would fight your way through an entire pack just to uh, get to the snail and meanwhile slowing you the whole time. Why are there so many snails? They're usually mainly on um, the last level, but I guess sometimes they can be earlier in the lair. Oh, also it's right by Scarf of Resistance. Um... Hmm... I might go by the, the Scarf of Resistance right now, because I can't really put on the Ice Dragon armor without at least, like, some Fire Resist, I think. So yeah, it probably makes sense to get that one first. Also, I don't have a Cloak right now, so it's just a straight-up improvement. Yeah, oh, right, level 2 of the Lair. And now we should have, well, everything apart from poison and resist uh, electric, which isn't too bad. Um, oh my god, it's move back. I don't think Komodo Dragons are too bad for this character. How much am I hitting for? That absolutely massacred the guy. 39 damage? Wow, okay. I mean, yeah, that's trolls for you, right? They have very little defenses, but they hit really hard. Also, I don't want to mite this guy up, so I'm just going to throw rocks at it. Oh, I might it already. Well, if I might it already, I'm probably going to lignify, because if it goes berserk, I'm just going to kind of die. At least if I have no blood, then I won't be able to berserk it up. So I think I get better, or at least uh, equivalent sort of defenses in tree form, and I also get, um... Get more hit points, so I'm definitely, yeah, tougher in tree form. Also, I think I get more damage when I'm hitting things with my branches compared with my troll claws. Alright, well, that's level 2 of the leg done, so I should go down to the stake pits. Where's the guards for this thing? Usually there's some nagas or something outside, but I guess this time around it's just unguarded. Sometimes there's snakes, like this dude, or a black member or something outside, but... Huh. A sky Shark, okay. Actually, I can Kirari the Sky Shark. I should do that. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier to kill. Don't need to use all my lignification potions. Because I'd probably run out of lignification potions if I used one on every um, one of those guys. Oh, 42% on the Petrify? Alright then. So long as there's not other creatures around, I'm completely fine. But yeah, 42% of the Petrify is quite a lot. But I guess that means that trolls don't get a huge amount of willpower level up or anything. So these hounds doing? Oh well. Sorry to pull some of them around this corner, but I guess it's not working. If a centaur had a wand of flame, which that one does, would it actually use it? Because that would probably do less damage than his bow. Oh, I'm going up with this guy. Because it might actually make it easier to kill having a Wonder Flame on it. Also, I wouldn't mind a Wonder Flame because I, uh... I don't have one, I don't think. There we go, got eight charges of flame. Uh... I know I can cure Ari up, Snorg. She likes to go berserk, so I should throw some rocks at her before she gets up to me. To get rid of half her health. Yeah, there we go, I can take her armor as well. Change from my party armor to my snork armor. It's really funny getting all my uh, armor off uniques. Ah, uh, it's Nurgle there. Nurgle's not, be not great because she summons in a lot of creatures. I'll see what this is. Poison, alright. I want to try and sneak up to her, so I'll just go around this way. Because then I can, like, uh, she can't block me with her creatures anymore. This did not work to sneak up on her, did it? Alright then. Oh, I can just stealth up to her. I mean, that works. Yeah, I was totally expecting to have to, like, throw some rocks and stuff and hope the creatures didn't get in the way. Maybe use my god abilities, which I haven't quite got going yet. The slouch is on, like, 60% failure, which is not too bad. Um, but I should be getting some more of the invocations, definitely. Oh, hey, Hydra. Eight-headed. It's quite big. Can't curare it. I can't throw rocks. Oh, there we go. Um, 
I'm probably gonna have to lignify here, but I might as well uh Kirari this guy. Actually, I could probably just kill it. Yeah, there we go. It's dying fast enough that I don't need to worry too much. More intelligence? Why am I getting so many intelligence rings? It's like I dropped the resist corrosion one. That's definitely not something I really need. How's my money go? It's quite bad, isn't it? I need like 1,200 gold or something if I were to get that uh, cold dragon armor. How's my strength at 42? I mean, it's got to be really good with Chamber Andos. Alright, oh, another lignification potion, good. I don't seem to be running low of those, because I know sometimes when I get into the lair, I uh, definitely run out of those, and I have to deal with a sky shark without having one and that sort of thing. Oh, <laughs> where's this blink frog going? I know I started with, like, a little bit of stealth skill because, um, I started as a delver and I need to start with a little bit. Which is actually generally fairly useful, but it can get a little bit frustrating with things not noticing me and running around all, all over the place, that sort of thing. Oh, I'm gonna get pushed back by these elephants, aren't I? Oh, well, I'll stick at the choke point as long as I can. Yeah, there they go, pushing me back. And killed enough of them that it didn't really matter, though. Okay, it's constantly blinking around. All right, got it. Um, I actually have a cold resist now, so I don't think these rhyme breaks should be too bad. Yeah, I mean, it barely damaged me when it zapped me with this um, rhyme breath. Ah, oh, that's not a great combo. Hold on a second here. We've got some dream sheep. Okay. Mm, Sal's just going to do that much to the dream sheep, so I got to take out the dream sheep because I don't want to get. Oh, I think Slouch is probably the way to go anyway. Let's give it a try. Alright. It's not a dream sheep. It's probably fine now. Yeah, I just want to get paralyzed and have the shark berserk up next to me or something and then get into all sorts of trouble with that. Oh, is this, the, this is a dire ending. Um, I'll exclude this off for now, and I'll definitely do the rest of the level first. I'm just, uh, thinking whether I leave that until later on or not. Because often with that ending, I like to leave it quite later on, because it does have dire elephants and sometimes, I think. Do I have a link to enchant right now? I don't think my current armor is that worth enchanting. So I'll probably just hold on to those enchant armor for when I get something a little bit heavier. throw a rock at that guy. If it's gonna mess around like that, I might as well throw a rock. Also, I think the damage of my rocks must be really good, because I got the extra strength from Chabriados. Let's take a look at that. Where are my rocks in here? So a rock is heading for 65 damage, but it's attack delay like, can't be that good. Does it even list it? I feel like they didn't list or something. I mean, you can technically work it out, because I can't remember the exact... Is it 2 skill is minus 1.0 attack delay or something? I know there's like a simple formula you could use to um, work out what your attack delay will be. Anyway, yeah, I think I leave this land ending till later on. Also, you need a bit of willpower because there's an necromancer in it, so I should probably just go to like the Orcish Mines or something now. Try to get some money, get myself some better armor, that sort of thing. Whoa. I don't have any poison resist. <laughs> hmm. Definitely step back into here, right? These guys have the. I might just slouch these guys a little. Oh, a little bit more. I probably got to drink a cure and get rid of some of this poison. I think I should be fine now. Yeah, that's kind of nasty with that amount of poison because I got no resist to it. Ah, it's a Nequonk the taken there. There's no way I'm hitting him with a Nequonk taken and getting myself malmutated. That's just a terrible idea. Also, what have we got? A demigod air elementalist. Zoralu's ghost. They've got airstrike, shock. I mean, the airstrike can do quite a bit of damage, depending um if they get me out in the open or not, which they probably would. Oh man, look how many the quag sticks there are there. That's just kind of ridiculous. 
Yeah, so definitely not mess with that. Also, there wasn't a volcano, was there? I didn't think one got announced. No, I think that was just a random lava. Also, oh, I got confused again. Hmm. No, I can't really be confused here because this guy's doing quite a lot of damage to me. So at least I got a good number of curing potions. It's not too big a deal if I have to constantly be using those. That's some tough looking guys. I don't think most of them notice me, so I'm just gonna run around this corner. Right. That's fine, but I might just slouch these guys and then retreat back even further. Whoa, okay. Um, I got me out in the open again. I mean, I can't do the slouch again. It's not the best. I think that's got me. Oh, come on. Um, I think I just teleported out. There we go. Now I can heal back up. Yeah, because there was no way I was going to be able to run back to safety or anything there. There were rather a lot of guys. Yeah, pull this guy back. There we go. Until it gets that close to me. I think I might also cure Rari. It doesn't have any poison resistance, does it? No, it's got some basic plate armor on. And I'm glad I uh, found a shop that had, like, five curaris in it, because I got through quite a few. I think I'm down to, like, three now or something. Just definitely respectable, but it would have been a problem if I had to found the shop. But this shop was really great, because I had uh, large rocks in it as well, which is also something this character can definitely do with. Alright, first level done. Have I got all the staircases? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, what? Go to the staircase. There we go. I want to try and stick around the staircase, I think, yeah. Um... There we go. Bring this guy upstairs. That's pretty good. That's what I'm trying to do. Is uh, bring these guys upstairs one at a time type thing. A little bit of smiting here is fine, because I kind of regen it almost as fast as smiting me. Alright. I'll just throw a rock at this guy, I think. Well, like, those guys can, like, paralyze, and they can do their bolts of draining for quite a bit of damage. I think bolts of fire, but I'm probably fine with the bolts of fire, because at least they've got a fire resist. Um... How's my gold going anyway? I need 600 more gold. I should be able to buy the cold dragon armor. Well, this is trying to heal each other. It's kind of funny. They're not, uh, not doing a great job. Actually, it might be the priest trying to heal the wizards. Oh, another ghost. There seems to be plenty of ghosts. So we've got... Bong Chen Dong's ghost. They are a troll fighter of Rue. Hey, it's a fellow troll. They've actually got more health than me. I have 143 max health. They've got 152 max health. Also, they do worse 50 damage, 49 damage. That's more damage than me as well. Yeah, I don't think fighting them would be a very good idea, actually. They're kind of just like a slightly higher leveled version of me, I think. i got to slouch these guys, I think. Uh, should be fine, definitely, once I've slouched them, but it was looking a little scary. Wait, these guys, I might just boomerang these guys. Because they're kind of, I could probably get to them from where I am, but, well, if I go round or something. Uh, I might slouch these guys. I can try to get rid of this guy. I might slouch him again. Alright. It's not really working. I think I gotta... I mean, I killed some of them, but I think I gotta teleport out. I don't know. It might have been fine, but it's definitely fine teleporting out. Alright. What have we got in these shops? So we've got um, an armor shop. 
doesn't have it, I'll say, well, it has a rope, but I got plenty of those. We have a scroll shop that's blinking, which I can definitely grab at some stage. Teleport I can probably grab. Identify I can probably grab at some stage in a fog as well. All right, well, I'll wait on those ones because I'm still saving up for that uh, armor, right? Oh. I think I could just... All right, it's not a perfect choke point or anything. Uh, I think I slouched these guys. Just trying to get up to the one that's actually summoning here. Oh, no, there's Rupert. Um... Definitely do a teleport. I'm just thinking if I pop a fear. I don't think I need to. Right, what's the plan with Rupert? I do have an enlightenment potion, I guess. Oh, there he is. So I think I definitely enlightened the top. And then I think I can curare him, right? Looks like it. And then I can throw some large rocks at his face. I've also got some nets if I need to throw them. Mm, I've actually only got one net. I think he might be fine. There we go. I want my rocks back. Give me my rocks back, guys. I've been surprised at how well these rocks have been lasting. Oh, no. I should probably teleport out, but I might just drop a slouch first, get rid of some of the priests. I kind of get low on the teleports, which is a bit of a worry. Do I do a fear? Hey, Ruga! How's it going? I noticed quite a lot of people have been playing in the tournament, which is great. I might drop a fear. I mean, I got out there anyway, but... I just kind of worried about that teleport. That did not look great at all. Being completely surrounded. No, I can't wait for uh, next week's one, which is actually not that far away, right? It's uh, it's on Friday midday for me, I think, if I remember. Or was it? It was Friday, I think. All right. Um, that's a lot of priests. Oh, come on. Oh, this guy doesn't want to move up to me. Fine, I'll slouch them, I guess. I'm just going through so much of my piety. Oh, no. Um... That might actually go for a blinking. That's not good at all. But then what after I blink? Um... I think that does go for a blink, actually. I've got myself way too wounded there. That's not great at all. Um, do I have a, I have a magic potion? Is that what I'm after? I've gone through so much of my piety, this is not great. What do I have that could help here? Doing well? Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, and you? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing okay at the moment. Well, this character's, um, in a bit of a pickle here. Let's see what I can do at the moment. Oh, early mid troll defense are sad. Yeah, like the. I mean, my 11 armor class is actually not bad because I got lucky and found something that helped out. <sighs> do I read that last teleport? It's probably going to end bad if I do that. Um, I'll try one of these potions and see what I get. Resistance. All right. Gotta drink a magic and just slouch these guys. Oh, does that just smite me or something? That guy's got an obelisk, which is not great, but I think slouch might take them out. Not quite. Still this dude. Can I get a bit of healing? I don't know if I can. I can throw a rock at it, but I've already got 33 health. So I could probably hit for more damage than that. Can hit with 35 with this obelisk? I think I'd throw a rock at it, but it's only 70% to hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, this guy's got a fancy sword. It's got a uh, demon blade. All right, well, that was a, a bit of a disaster I just got myself into, but at least I'm out of that now. Um, there's still quite a few guys left here, though. One of these will notice me, right? Right? Nope. Okay. Um, I need to go... Oh, I've got so close to the money, I just think I need to buy, like, a teleport or something. I do have one left, but that's not particularly great. I can go identify... I do I do one of these potions? I got some visibility. All right. I don't tend to find that the most useful potion. I mean, it can be good, but... Let's 
throw some rocks at these guys, I think. Ah, throw a rock at this one as well. If it's not going to move up to be on its own, if it's going to sit back with the obelisk, I think it's worth giving it a rock to the face. Could just use boom rays. I got tons of those at least. Oh, there's even a, a stats thing for the interesting for the tournament that you can look at. So there's 69 players, 31 runas, 17 winners. Yeah, last I saw, I think it was like on 12 winners or something. So it's gone up a little bit since then. Have you played 619 games? Uh. Kind of a lot of guys. I'm gonna drop a little bit of fear on these guys. Uh, I don't see quite what I was trying to fear, but it will do. I got two rocks left. Let me get out the boom rigs, I think, because I got tons of those at least. Excellent. Oh, there's more guys for me to boom rig, I think. Is what I'm seeing here. Oh, then you get a uh, gold dragon set, four more statue, four blows of shield, and go back to be an unkillable god. Yeah, exactly. I haven't found a shield yet, have I? Because that would be amazing. Give me a shield right now. Nope, no shields. Um, I do have the statue form, but I'm trying for an armor title, so I was like, eh. I'll just try and get some heavy armor. Hopefully, that will work out in the end. Okay, let's throw at these guys, I guess. Are they healing each other? That's just cheating. Except not really cheating, but it feels like it. Why can't I heal myself, actually? I don't know if me being able to heal another creature would be very useful, honestly. Because I don't exactly have friends this run. Alright, well, well, there's lots of shops inside there, because I already got the earlier shops. I got a robe, a glowing robe, whatever it is. Got a Scorch, Balax, Falchion, Scimitar, Rude Whips, Rude Scimitar, none of these are good, they're just like weapons, I don't use those, I use that Oh, there's Finisher Scythe, Crude Scimitar, another Artifact, Morningstar, nah. Oh, those are kind of disappointing chops, but I can grab the Teleport later on, I just need like 300 more gold or something. Magic Potion might be good, uh, Cancellation's good. I don't think I've shot a curing yet, but if I get shot a curing, I can go grab those. Um, I wasn't going to pop that open because Ghost was really terrifying. Alright, well, I've done the level above, but I guess I just go to the dungeon for a little while and hope for some gold in that. Alright. Yeah, I mean, how short am I with the gold? 230 gold? Okay. Oh, it's probably down to like, what, 200 gold now. Mr. Curari Dots? Yeah, maybe I'll grab those. I'll think about them. I've still got three rides. I'm kind of alright. Oh, Riff Raff has played almost a hundred games? I wonder, I don't think I've played many games at all. Can I do a, uh... How would you, like, look up number of games that each player's played. I'm not really familiar with these tournament commands. But I've probably played very, very little games. I think I only played like one game or something. This isn't right. This is not right at all. Um, I can't kite, kite these guys back either. I just gotta fight it, I guess. Oh, it's gonna get quite big. Can't blind it. Um, can't curare it. Gotta do a bit of light while they're still. Ah, oh, they did merge. That's like 66 damage. Yeah, that's not what I want to see. Um, I might be able to charm it. Honestly, no, it's 30%. I can probably still charm it. Let's do a vulnerability and then charm it, I reckon. Ow. Please tell me I don't have to blink out of this. Okay, good. I got it with the charming. 
Wait, nothing there? Well, I meant to tell it to retreat up, but we should split up pretty quick anyway now that I've got it, um, charmed up, which is great. Got any, uh, got your tournament win there, Andre? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Yeah, so it's definitely good to get the tournament win. I hope you got tier mount and everything. Because not missing out on tier mount would have been such a uh, disappointment. Um, I might just get a little bit of invocations, but not much. The first four, four points or something. But I mainly just found, I think, fighting it unarmed at this point. I had to get a Pearl Dragon and Pandemonium. How many levels of Pandemonium did it take you, like, roughly, to get a Pearl Dragon? No, I was not looking forward to an adjective of Pandemonium, so I was so glad when I saw Tiamat. I got Ignition and Radiant, so I've got some high-level spells that I can't use. Um, Didn't notice me. Okay. Well, I think the right thing to do is bring out the rocks. Um... Bring out the Curari, which hopefully will hit. Alright, now I can probably bring out some boom rags or whatever. It doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, oh, it only took you three levels of pandemonium? Okay, that's actually not too bad. So I had to do 60 plus levels of pandemonium. Wait, why is that plus seven magic points? That flail. It's not plus nine? Plus two strides, plus three decks. I don't know, sometimes I just get like a weird number of magic points, but it's almost always nine, and sometimes it's not. Huh. It looks kind of strange, but it's not. Oh, the main team did the uh, 65 levels, and Jeff did 54? Wow. I'm really glad they got uh, tier mad with that case. Or oh, does it count if you poly into it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of wondering the same thing. It's like, oh, uh, but what can you actually poly into a power dragon? Like, Manless, maybe? I don't think there's a lot of things. I want that treasure. I do have a flight. Okay, I'm fine. Um, I guess instead of decks. Actually, do I ever think generally better than decks? Oh, maybe. Alright, magic regen? Nah, I think I'm wearing, like, Spirit Guardian or something silly, right? This is alright. Yeah, it's already holy, so you can turn into... Um... Right, so yeah, it's gotta be something like Manus or... What other holy holies do you see? I mean, sometimes you see angels, right? Can you polymorph an angel? Probably, I don't know, I've never tried polymorphing an angel. I know you can polymorph Manus into a power dragon. I might pull the decks back on. Alright, how close am I with my money? I've got to be so close, right? No, I'm still like, oh, I'm still like 150, 200 gold shot or something. Ooh, draw grind. Well, that was a nice time with this file of floods. Uh, Robe of Resistance? I might want to wear that. I can't regen on my current... Oh, he got his bells back? Already? Hold on, which, uh, how many scrolls do I have left? So I've got... I've got quite a few, so just getting silence is unlikely. Oh, if the Morg states Pearl and it's not a zombie, then it's all good? Oh, did you get a new microphone? No, I didn't quite get a new microphone. I got a, like, a proper boom arm for my microphone to hold it up. So it's now a little bit closer to me, so it probably sounds a bit different. Hopefully it sounds better. Um... Alright, what am I trying to do here? Uh, oh, that's the, uh, that's getting the wins. So a lot of people, I mean, does anyone have more than one win? Wait. Oh, is that the win rate? Ah, I see how that is. Right, so a lot of people got it in one try. Got really lucky. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah, it must just be because it's closer to my face, I imagine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna last to try and identify one of these scrolls. Hey, it's something. I mean, that's fine. Not quite what I'm after. Did, is he curari a ball? Yes. Okay. Ah, do I have to teleport out of here or this is fine? Um. I want to kill him, but... He's got some pretty powerful spells. Hold on. 
I should have drunk a I should have drunk a potion, um one of these vitamins earlier, I think. Ah, this is bad. This is my last teleport. This could be bad. Okay, I got him heavily wounded or something. Um Still here though. Right, I've got to... Uh, is there... Mm, I don't know what I do. I think I just try to avoid him for now. He does have some of my rocks and stuff. But hopefully I can find something to help me. Oh, there's more rocks here anyway. Hopefully I can find something to help me identify my stuff. Oh, that's not what I want to see at all. Oh, no, because I'm out of teleports. Um... Throw a rock at this guy. It's not working that well, is it? Um, might do a summoning. I I'm so tempted to go buy a teleport. I probably should. Okay, I can split these guys up at least now, and that's probably fine. Um, it does kind of delay getting that armor. Oh, that's not working at all. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this guy in the net. Okay, I did get a net. That should let me kill it, right? Good, I even got my net back. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy a teleport. I'm not like only 200 gold or less short of being able to buy the armor that I'm trying to get, but let's go one teleport because I gotta have that. Um, what am I on? Dungeon level 13 or something. But this is definitely the awkward troll sort of early to mid game. Oh, five players with one and one? That's actually pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm kind of surprised that I managed to get it first try, but... Although some of those other players like streaking streakers or something, I'm not sure. God, don't? Mr. Dizzy? Tech cards? I don't know. MTI? Don't know, I don't recognize those as players that like often go for big streaks or anything. Oh, there's another subject. Excellent. Um uh, Willpower's probably better than Dex. Yeah, it's almost certainly better. That is something I need. Ooh, hey, this guy's next to me. That's probably exactly what I want to see with one of those Centaur guys. Um or they get people that got pearl drags where they got them. Oh, it even says like which level of pandemonium, like 39 pandemoniums there for one of those players. Some depths of an elf. Oh, elf, interesting. Ziggurats, that makes sense. Wait. D26? Oh, is this a general? This is not during the tournament, okay? For some reason, I thought that was during the tournament. I was like, wait, dodge level 26? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh. I don't like this lob. I gotta try and slowly make it back to the staircase. Hey, Vertomic! How's it going? Oh, Lemon tries, you think you were tilted? Lemon sounds not too bad, though. But yeah, maybe maybe a little bit tilted after those first few uh, losses, I guess. Okay, there's Jorg Run. I still don't have the silence, which is really annoying. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm almost out of Curaris. I got one more and I missed. Probably enlighten. Um, I gotta try to slouch him a bit. He's not massively fast. It's not doing like massive damage or anything. All right, that's all right. And I've lost the lob, so I should just be able to retreat back, get my health, and then go collect my rocks. Um. I look at the elf one, there's a, there's a couple of the same sort of vault as it. Min made the grid of various kinds. Dropping the pearl dragon. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a pearl dragon or not an um, elf. Doesn't sound like familiar. Doesn't mean it never happened. In fact, I can actually query for that, right? Wait, you did the killer one. Those people that's killed the pearl dragon. Um, no, been killed by it. I mean, I probably have never been killed by a pearl dragon, have I? But I can actually check that. 
Paul Dragon. I think it's what I'm after. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. No games where I died to a Pearl Dragon. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Unless I misspelled that or something. Oh, I'm leveling up. Um, strength, of course. Let's just buff it up. My strength is actually slightly down from where it was because I lost a bit of piety. There's all the bots can search. Yeah, I figured it might be. Because there'd be way too many, like, um... Tides of, like, creatures that you could have killed for it to keep a record of all of them, I guess. Um, how am I going with money? I need 125 gold. Man, I don't have any resist negative. I got a little bit drained there, which is a bit of a shame. Throw some rocks at these guys. Throwing rocks is always fun. I'm not sure if I'm trading that up or something. Oh man, I need another 100 gold or something. I've got a fire resist. I can just throw rocks at this dude. Uh, I don't think I've got any poison resist yet, which is not perfect with these guys turning into poison ones. I've uh, got Gamma fucking QWQW QW to do incredible bot commands. Yeah, I, I mean, at least someone's good at those bot commands, because uh, I feel like I haven't quite figured out the, how the bot commands work for making some of the more difficult ones. I wonder how it determines like what games are specifically for the tournament, though. Um... That's interesting. Hey, Taxi Cab! How's it going? What have you been up to? Have you done any cruel recently? Have you tried the, um, what is it called? The Cruel Cosplay Trunk Tournament? I think is what it's called. Got Stubble's Ghost. A go Coglin Hunter of Gozag. 44 damage? Hmm. I mean, I probably beat that damage now, right? No, I'm exactly on 44 damage as well. I probably shouldn't fight them. Oh, hey, Hydra. Hydra's a fight. I can just throw rocks at them until they die. I don't have to worry too much about them getting extra heads or anything. Oh, there's another dude. Um, well, I wasn't quite dead. He was throwing some rocks at me. Uh, that's a lot of guys that can throw rocks. But it's actually a good thing, because it means more rocks for me, and I definitely want some more rocks. Yeah, I'm up to 30... Eight rocks now. Definitely a nice little improvement there. Tennis was playing. Yeah, I noticed that I uh, did played a few games. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to catch a stream or anything. No, it'd be interesting to see how he goes with that one. See if he manages to get his win. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my money. Oh, I'm like six gold shot or something. I don't really want to be marked. Also, two of my staircases are like in the same spot, which is kind of sad. No, not that one. Where's my good staircase? Hey, that might be the six gold I'm after. Uh, it would be funny if this uh, mob is like negative being charged after all. That would be hilarious. Oh, you can look at the command there. Uh, Max Excel. What on earth does that even mean? <laughs> Yeah, don't even know quite what that command means. I feel like that's, uh, there's probably, like, a reference that you could learn, like, the language of those commands are in somewhere. Ah, that's not what I want to see. That's kind of a lot of guys. I slouched them a little bit. There we go. That's better. Oh, am I going to get back to the... No, I'm not going to make it back to the staircase, am I? Alright, I'll just throw rocks at this guy. Mm. Uh, actually, I can throw rocks at this guy as well. I've got my health back, which is the important part. I just don't have the magic points back. Which, I mean, count for a little bit of health, but they're not that important. Oh, did comedy and stuff all weekend be playing New Vegas today? Oh, Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I think I caught one of your streams playing that one. It looked kind of interesting. I've actually played that one myself. It's my favorite one out of the Fallout games. Um... I still have two days on the tournament to get the first win before the next one. Ah, yeah. Decent amount of time. Whoa. It's fine. 
Kill a couple of these dudes so they go up, get my health back. Kill a couple more, I think. But I do want to go by the armor and hope it's not some minus one armor or something. Uh, let's see. So it is. It is. Plus zero ice dragon armor, minus magic points, but plus willpower dex. That could be alright. Shaver doesn't have an enchantment bonus on it, though. Um. Sure. Let's go take a look at this. So, if I put it on, I gain 7 armor class, lose an evasion. That's not terrible. Um, I need to get some fire resist from somewhere, but it does give willpower, which is not bad. It gives cold resist, which is not bad. Yeah, that seems worth putting it on. Unfortunately, it contaminates when I take it off, which means sometimes they're going to get more mutated, but oh well. Um, probably some of the willpower was like some fire resist or something, but I got to save up for the fire resist, unfortunately. I'm not going to be able to afford that immediately. Um, what was that? Dungeon level 14 or something? Dungeon level 15 now, apparently. Oh, right. Whoops. Wrong staircase. It's kind of trash, yeah, unfortunately it's not a well charged or something. Oh, whoops. Ow. Ow, that was a mistake. Oh, I can read the summoning. Ow. Uh... A few have voted for the, the most for Zenata for week two. That's the that's one with the new uh your Del now, right? Which makes sense. I definitely want to give that one a try. She has tons of willpower, right? Yeah, she does. Um I still gotta fear some of these other guys. Oh. Well, that's something. Alright then. Oh, She's no longer- wait! One of my creatures hit her and- oh no! Uh... Oh, Zenana's challenge? Play a version with all two Kiba stunts? Oh, that doesn't quite work for a trunk challenge, but it still- uh, it still would be interesting. This is- oh, I thought my creatures would- oh, they- My creatures stuffed me up there! I gotta stop my teleport, but- ow. I have to do a blinky, I think. She's quite fast, unfortunately. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I'm out of teleports now as well. Um. How far does that take me? I think that's far enough that I can heal up. Unfortunately, I don't think I can really kill Sonata. Going down that staircase was a terrible idea. Um, that's gonna take me past Sonata, isn't it? Can cure Ari her, right? She's got a row of fire resist. There we go. Then I can get her with a... Slouch. Should do something. There we go. That did, that did the trick. I probably should go back down the staircase, right? No, it looks pretty bad. Is this staircase here is the one I'm meant to be going with? I can slouch these dudes if I need to. Which I don't, thankfully. Can I go buy myself a teleport? I can't go buy myself a teleport. I should go buy myself a teleport, as it turns out. Um. Go to dungeon 15. Oh, so she's a Coglin Artifice of Yurdel Null. Right, okay. I thought she was like a human or something, but having her as a Coglin makes a lot of sense. Um. A Yura Delvedal sounds pretty fun. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Um, I won't kill her yet, but I do wish her to kill her at some stage. I could probably just Lignify up and then kill her. That's probably not a big deal. Ah, that's a lot of guys. Keep on throwing rocks at these guys. I've got to kill as many as I can before they get up to me. 
All right, I don't think any more of them noticed me, thankfully. Getting back a little bit of my party. What? A oh, a shield. There's a tower shield of positive energy. Yes, I do want that. But I should probably start getting shield skill pretty soon. Um, let's do that. Um, right now, actually, let's get some shield skill. And then by the time I can afford that shield, I'll probably have like uh, I don't know, fifteen. Is that too much? I'll go for fifteen shield skill. It's probably about right. All oh, these rings here. There's um, the other thing of fire resist. I don't think so. There's slag strength. It is all fine, but I think I just kind of want to get a fire resist on some regen as well. Although, um, what am I using? I don't think my, my ammo was that great. I think it was like Spirit Guardian or something silly. Ah, Roxanne's guarding something else as well. Alright, but this is fine. I can just go here to break the lignification, which I should have quite a few. I've got three, and then throw some rocks. There we go. I don't need a statue form. Um, it is- oh, it's a fire resist one. That's actually a really good statue form. Like, two fire resist, three threads, see invisible? Man, um, that's actually really tempting. Our description is a master weaponsmith. Her flesh melting into seal, steel so smoothly that it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. She enters the dungeon to search for the secrets of an ancient, long suppressed cult, said to have Exalted metal over flesh. The price of knowledge was her humanity. A price she paid eagerly. No, that actually does fit Cogling super well, um, actually. Makes sense that she would be one. Oh, how much money do I need? Not much to buy that shield. I need another, like, 30 gold or something. Can I get some fire resist from somewhere? Hmm. I guess I go to snake pits with no fire resist. Not ideal, but I guess it's fine. Also, no poison resist. You know what would give both fire resist and poison resist? Uh, I don't know. Dude's still buffed up, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, my armor was like mildly disappointing, so it's like something I could do. What was my other branch actually? The shoals. Um, hmm. I might try the shoals out, see how that goes, but it might be a bad idea. That's rock throwing tree. Yeah, I was a, I was a little rock throwing tree for a while there. Rock throwing trees are pretty fun. Ah, oh, that mic's brought in so much stuff. I don't know about this. I'll try it again, but hmm. Yeah, this looks alright. Gotta be really careful where I throw my rocks, though. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. That quote sounds very familiar. Hold on. I feel like I don't know where it's from, but I feel like I've heard that quote before. I probably haven't even, like, watched the original things it's from. I've probably just heard the, like, quote out of context. Let me just go upstairs here. Uh, I can throw a rock at this dude. It's better to try to run up to it with chain and or speed at least. Alright, come on, I must be close to affording that shield. Uh, yes, I can go by it. I probably don't quite have enough skill, but hey. Who doesn't want to put on a skill, a shield with no skill, right? What is my skill? Five? Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, I do have the fire resist robes, but probably not. Probably have to drop all those. I think I had a rope resistance somewhere as well. Alright, well, I'm just gonna put it on. So my attack delay is apparently 0. 0.7, sometimes 0. 0.8, but fairly often 0. 0.7. 0. 0.9, 0. 0.8, 1. Mm, yeah, it's definitely worse, but. I'll go with that, see how it goes. Not oh, snake pits. I'll go to the shoals, I think, with this character. I think it throws down the it slows down the rock throwing as well, but that's already fairly slow, so it's not the worst thing ever. Um Oh, the poison resist ring? That's not in here, but in the snake pits that could be useful. So got emulation, noise, 
heal wounds. All right. You know what, Ashley? If I put on the um, resist poison instead of the willpower, I can probably head over to the snake pits, I reckon. I'll just run up to this dude. What's the chance of hitting it? 30% with the rock. Not that great. All right, now maybe the snake pits. Come on, there we go. That guy freezing... Wait, is it not hitting its own allies when it's freezing there? I'm not sure what's going on here. Also, what's up with this guy? So it's just the ice blast, that's fine. Oh, I think I slouch these guys. It'll get rid of the snakes at least, but not so much the nagas. Um... Oh, got me constricted. This is not working that well. I could probably kill this dude. No. I, I failed to kill this dude. Okay. Um, Zaffa with a bit of electricity. Nah, I can't zap that guy as well. Um, do I have anything here that could be helpful in this fight? Um, I can't slash these guys because I'm out of magic points, which is not ideal at all. Could I charm this dude out the front? Uh, not really. Ow. I might slash these guys, so I'll drink the magic potion. Ah, uh, didn't kill all of them. This guy's got, like, Curarion or something. Even more guys. Okay, then. That was fairly tough. Maybe I should just be in the shoals. I mean, I definitely grabbed my stuff back that I've got on the ground here. And my rocket stuff. Um... I guess I'll do the first level up here, but I'm, I'm just kind of considering whether this is a bad idea or not. Kind of feel like I've got everything I need, but it doesn't always feel like it's going well. I have no resist electric, but that's probably fine. Could be a chance to get a better shield. What's this dude's shield? It's a shield of protection. Okay. That might be worth using until I get a bit more skill in my current shield. Um, I found it probably is. Let's go find it. It's on the ground somewhere? Somewhere? Probably under one of these rocks or something. Um. That's it, isn't it? Right, so I could drop the... Acrobat's probably not that useful in Chamber Angel, so hopefully I won't have to be doing too much running away. Tension Record's not currently useful, uh, but it might be eventually. I unfortunately never get that grand eye form going with this character. I've just got to... No, I don't need the enchant weapons either. I don't need the amnesia. I don't need the noise. I've got tons of stuff to drop. I think this is my first real time going through and dropping things with this character. All right. So I got 18 shield. Why do I put this on? Oh, if you get a... Um, so I lose five shield value, but I gain three armor class, one evasion. And my attack delay comes back. So I think it's probably worth using this one until I get a bit more shield skill. Uh, hmm. Let's try to like pull it round so I don't have quite as many view at once. This is not perfect though. Cause, hmm. I don't think I can charm one of these guys, can I? Nah, it's like 40% on that one, alright. Whoa, no, don't don't haste up the shark serpent. I've definitely gotta slouch these guys. Um, I think I got rid of shark serpent. Right? Because I hate the Chunk Serpent, it's got to have died from a slouch, right? I mean, Chunk Serpent's already pretty fast, but once you haste it up, it should be fast enough that it just absolutely gets smashed. Um. I'm gonna head to the Joel's again, I think. Um. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, first level's done. Let's try the second level. Um, might pull out the boomerangs for a little while because at least the boomerangs are not gonna lose above water or anything. Whoa, that's not working. Hold up. It's not poison resist. I could cure Raria. I maybe should have done that a little bit earlier. Um. Yeah, I might cure already this guy as well because I don't have too much health left. Um, also, I probably, I know there are like the sea snakes, but I'm probably better off using, where is that, the willpower in here rather than the poison of dust. Try and stop some of the guys mesmerizing me at least. Um, even if I can't reliably stop them from mesmerizing me. I can fairly freely use my throwing weapons because as a troll I get all the large rocks so I'm always certainly going to have lots of throwing weapons even if I lose a th few. But uh, getting the shoals is actually really good for getting throwing weapons as well. Like you can see my boomerang number, I think it's actually going up despite all the boomeranging I'm doing right now. This guy's probably fairly good at reflecting my boomerangs but it did take some damage from them. Of course, with stripped willpower, I can easily get, um, easily get mesmerized in here. <laughs> How did I manage to miss that guy so many times when I was asleep? Like, I was just throwing boomerangs. Like, I thought it should be around 90% or something to head at least while I was asleep, but I guess you can still miss. That was just kind of funny. Um... Oh, more water elemental suede. Oh, I always I always never see those diagonals in here because the water just kind of melts together. Like, it really doesn't look like you could just pop across there, but you can. I kind of don't like how the water melts across. Um, That's one thing I really like about this game is that the tiles tend to be really good at... S oh, whoa. That's a whole element of Wellspring. Tiles tend to be really good at sticking to like their own squares, because I know in some other games it can be really confusing where a tile starts and ends. Um, coming around the corner, it's not following. Try and find the actual element of Wellspring. There we go. Just a single one of those. Oh, it's not even a single one of those. I was going to say a single one of those is not too bad, but... Uh, I want to slouch these guys, just so that I can throw at this one. I have too many friends summoned dead. Um... What's this resistance? Resist electric, mute to negative poison, but no fire and cool resist. Um... I don't know if the light will do much, but I'll give it a try. There we go, got rid of it. There's probably another one in here as well. Nope, that's the last one, thankfully. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's go downstairs. Ah, I got an Impaler. That's fine. Fortunately, that's not going to be a very good set case to fight from. It's going to pull in everything. And I can't even pull any of those guys up. Oh, that was going to Wind Drake on it. So I can easily get pushed off. Maybe this one will be better. Huh? What? Of course the targeting would go for the guy that I can't go for instead of the one I can. I think this deck is like okay-ish. I can kind of just bring things up. Uh... Had the plants to go up, I should get rid of the plants by the time I get back here. So I can actually throw some stuff. Oh, of course, they're good for the one I can't. Mm. Uh... 
Wait, has it got a net? Oh, it's got three nets. I guess I just throw stuff at it and hope it doesn't hit with the nets, but it's... Oh, there we go. Missed with the nets. It did definitely have a good chance of getting me one of those nets, because I had quite a few of them. A lot of tries to try and get me. Uh, I think the Aqua Dance or whatever it's called, Aquamancer guy might be the most dangerous. Ooh. Maybe. There's kind of a lot of different guys here. And this one's going to be Water Striking me. I'm actually still on that teleport, see where I end up. That's a bit better. <laughs> Get me temporarily out of there. What is up with this? It's definitely magic. Uh, plus three halberds. Okay. Kind of a lot of guys here. Do I want to just... I think I want to just hit these guys with a poison scroll. Um... Hopefully I don't have to do a fear, but we'll see. Um, now nah, looks like I'm good. Because that's definitely a combo you can do. You hit things with poison, and then you do a fear, and they run to poison. And I don't believe the uh, poison stops the fear like a lot of other sources of damage do. I believe. Because I know that can be a problem with fear scrolls, like other things that you do just do damage to a creature, and then it stops running away or something. But I had that exact problem earlier when I had the summoning scroll out. Is this guy going to die? Thank goodness. Can I take his javelin? Alright. I don't want I don't want this phantom of sphere. What? Uh, how many poison scrolls have I got left? Oh yeah, I've got three. I'll just read one because that basic crack is fairly simple. Alright, no, no, not dungeon level three. Level three on the shoulders. I've got a couple more levels. This guy's got a whole total demon trident on it. That's too many guys around that staircase. Let me just find another way down. And the staircase looks just perfect. Alright, what have we got in the shop? So it's still like an enchant armor. I don't have any armor to enchant. There's also a swamp dragon scales. Would those be worthwhile? Let me go look at them. So they... Oh, it's not listing the armor class there. If I search here, though... Uh... That does list it. So AC would decrease by 2. Shield would decrease by 1. Interesting. But at least it could be enchanted. I don't know. It's probably not worth it right now. Oh, the Sand Scroll? Um, what was I saving up for? Was it like a Ring of Fire Resist or something? Yeah, Fire Resist Strength was probably what I'm saving up for. Because then I could go into the Snake Prince and have a little bit of Fire Resist, and that would probably be good. At least I could swap to Fire Resist when I need it anyway. Um... Oh, Gavafug is running CGI and has a Patreon page that states the server costs around 55 USD and he's getting 81 from donations. Hey, that works out. Hey, at least he's uh, like fully funded, right? Have you given any thought to take over CPO? I was potentially thinking of it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't had any experience running servers before, but... It's something I could potentially learn how to do. This is not going right. I'm gonna slouch these dudes. Hmm. It helped a little, but it didn't help that much. Why does electrocute some of these guys? Ooh, there's quite a lot of stuff going along. Ah, oh, wait, that wasn't quite right. I probably could have targeted that slightly better. Unfortunately, the electricity seems to have brought in just as many guys they got rid of. Can I get these guys with a bit of fear? Not very well. Hmm. Yeah, because someone does need to uh, take over the server. I think Jagly might have offered, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, not that. Uh... Ah, 
Oh, that's a good idea, but um, I've already got my willpower strip, so I'm gonna read a vulnerability, and then I'm gonna try to fear these guys because I want to get back to my staircase here. That's better. Now I can finally get my health back. It cost me, unfortunately, a couple of fear scrolls because I wasn't that great at fearing those guys up. That's not even working. I might try another staircase. Oh, you'll be setting up your own when Advil gets back from his travel? But it won't be an official server? I wonder how hard it is to get, uh, get a server made to an official server. Like, surely it's not that bad, right? Um, I guess you really just have to know, like, who's in charge of, uh, turning servers into official servers. I don't know, maybe running an official server is a bit harder than just running a server. Oh. Alright, well, got a potion here. I can probably draw up, um... I currently don't need the cold protection because I'm getting so much of that for my armor. This character's gonna have inventory problems though for a while. Oh, I've got amnesia. Maybe they won't have inventory problems. I would have thought they'd get inventory problems because they carry around all the throwing items, and that usually <laughs> gives you the inventory problems, but um it's not looking too bad this time around, actually. Wait, what was that thing I picked up? Box of beasts. Unfortunately, trolls are like really bad at the um Invocations. Can I just get out of this net? Please? <laughs> oh, an amulet of regen. Hold up. I might want that one on. I might just put that one on. Yeah, I don't feel like the Spirit Guardian is doing a huge amount for me. I, mean, I guess it's kind of an almost an extra 19 health as long as I don't use my god abilities. It's not that impressive. Yeah, trolls aren't exactly known for their huge stashes of magic points or anything. I could actually just bring these around the corner, maybe. Uh, it's not actually quite working. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's a javelin here. Um... Well, I guess that's a good thing, because I get some... Did I get some javelins off it? Oh, oh, the javelins are going to pick up because they don't stack with my current javelins. That's fine. They can drop, um, I don't know, probably flame at this point. I haven't been using my flame in here. Like, sometimes you want to use it to bring out the steam, but it's not quite as useful when you're so slow at traveling. Whoa, that's not working. Oh, I think I just slouched. They'll get rid of most of these guys, and they should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Except for the fact there's more guys. Um... As dude's was trying to drown me, but thankfully I can just stand back and throw at it. Uh, it's a little awkward with the guy he's getting in the way, but it does work. Oh, the biggest uh, potential issue with running an official server is that the user, so the user passwords, right. No, I guess you gotta kind of um, also like reset people's accounts and stuff. Like if uh, if they lose their password and stuff. And I guess you've also got to deal with situations like where um, someone purposely plays on someone else's account to ruin their streak or something. Because that could definitely happen. Like if someone hasn't, uh, probably the brilliance, if someone hasn't like registered on all the official servers or something. Speaking of all the official servers, I've got to actually go check at some stage if I've registered on one of the servers. Um, like the relatively new one, whatever it's called. I probably have, because I think it used to be the experimental server, right? Actually, no, I've definitely got an account on the new server, because I've actually logged into it. Um, I think I got Ringmail and Silver Javelins. Alright, Silver Javelins can do some decent damage, though. In fact, Silver Javelins are really good against Orbs of Fire, because they do bonus damage, because Orbs of Fire are vulnerable to Silver for some reason. Kind of nice. I guess they're like, uh, they're all about the malmutation. They're not quite malmutated themselves, but it's the same sort of thing. And all of the mut mutant type creatures tend to be really vulnerable to silver. Including apparently mutant players. Uh, every mutation. What is this? Is that like 3% more damage per mutation you have or something? Or it might be per level of mutations. If you're a level 3 mutation, it's maybe going to be an extra. Um... 
9% damage or something, it adds up for the various mutations. Oh, I probably... I don't know how good I am against Kraken, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to poison it up, make sure it dies. Because there's no running away if this goes wrong, so I should definitely make sure it goes right. Hey, there we go. That's rude. Oh, yeah, CDA was the experimental server, but they copied the CBRO2 user database over. Yeah, but it definitely still lets me um log in, so... I don't know, even the way it seems to work. I guess I had an account on the old... CBRO2 server as well. Uh, Alright, well, I'm done with the shoals, so I gotta try the snake pits. I can't quite afford that ring of fire resist, right? No, I'm like a 150 gold short or something. Oh well, I got the snake pits. Hopefully that's alright. I got more shield skill, right? So I've got, um, let's check my attack delay. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.7. Alright, oh, it's around 0 0.8. Uh, let's try out this tower shield. 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Uh, it's probably around 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 0 0.7. It's probably worth it around now. It's a little bit less armor class. I don't know. If I find a better brand, like a non resist negative one, it might be worth switching to that at some stage. Ooh, identify. I think I still have some stuff to identify. Yeah, like these scrolls right here. Scrolls of. Oh, brand weapon. Never mind. I could definitely drop those. Um, Shields are probably fine now. Just get the unarmed and I get the... Uh, fight against well. I don't want to get the unarmed too. I might go to like 18. But I might get the throwing at the same time. Um, To like 16 or something. Try and get the javelin mid delay. is probably the next thing to get with that one. And then, I mean, I might... Uh, I might never reach the mid delay on my large rocks, but hey, that's fine. Because I'm not going for the throwing title or anything. Oh, I don't want to go in there with that um, Salamander Tyrant. That would absolutely blow me up. Whoa, what's this dude got? Kite Shield? Nah, it's nothing. Like an artifact scarf could be good. I got a scarf resistance. Or it could just be like harm or something, and that would be kind of sad. I wonder whether the artifact, like, uh, stuff of palm can have extra harm on it. Because I think that there's a property you can have on scarves, like an artifact one. So you might be able to have a double harm scarf. That would be kind of funny. Oh, hey, Vashnir. Um. Why are these guys so slow? I should be slower than these guys. So where's my rocks? Can I poison up Vashnir here? She's got Barding of Stealth. Oh no, she's got Poison for this. I'll just, uh, just throw a rock at her, see how that goes. That <laughs> doesn't look too bad. Definitely yeah, really glad to be in a corridor though. There though, sort of army of archers. Can't just surround me and fire squad at me or anything. Alright, where's a uh, way down? That level is not too bad. I, would, I wouldn't expect it to be too bad, though, because I have done um, the shoals already, so this is my second branch. Do I have any fear left, actually? No one fear left. I know the snake post often goes through a bit of fear. Oh, I dropped my flaming wand. Oh, I'll just throw a rock at this guy. It's probably fine. If somewhat hard to hit. Am I wearing my poison resist? No. <laughs> I probably should be in here. Let's go put that one on. Don't know why it was the uh, sea snake that reminded me to have put on my poison resist instead of all these other nagas and stuff that have poison, but it was. Um, ah, it's just an acrobat amulet. I think the uh, probably the the regen what I've got right now is not too bad, but the other option would be um, go with some reflection or something because that would go well with my large shield here. Alright, well, what else can I identify? I mean, I guess to go with the potion, I got two off mutation. I think there's more of those for sale as well, which is great, because at some stage you're going to get more mutated to take off my armor. Oh. Nah, that's not going to work. I'm going to go up. Um... 
Can I afford that fire resist brick yet? Hey, I can. Excellent. Let's go grab that one. Because I can swap that into situations. It's one of those salamander tyrants and stuff. Is it better than poison resist? Probably not. But I could... Mm, maybe. Can't really dig up the other one because it's uh, contamination. Oh, give it a try, I guess. Uh, that's not what, that's that what I meant to do. Level four to snake bits? I think so, actually. Oh, there's a fire guy. I've got the fire as a sword. I should be fine. Yeah, just fine. In fact, this is the larvae ending where you want to fly. Um, is this fine? This is not great, but I think if I... Phantom Mirror this dude, I should be fine. Oh, ow, that was actually kind of a lot of damage. I might healing potion as well. Hmm, right. So I see to struggle against those guys. Um, in fact, I might actually just back up here. I've got my rocks, and I might leave um, exploring the boss chamber until after I've cleared the rest of the level. In case I need to teleport out, which I do have four teleports now, I'm kind of beginning to build them up a little bit. Definitely better than when I was, like, basically out of teleports and just kind of desperately trying to buy one while saving up my money type situation I had before. Um, I can probably identify basically everything here, so I can do my scroll of silence, finally, and my, ex oh, experience. Um, I might drink that right now. I should definitely drink that right now. Alright, level 19, nice. Good. Well, uh, yeah, my level of course is doing well because of my second level branch. Oh. I think that just froze up for a slight, like, half a second there. Was that long enough to be noticeable? Come on, one of these got to step next to me. Or maybe not. I guess I'm just finishing it off too fast for the rocks for them to even stand a chance of getting next to me. Good, a healing potion. I do need some of those. I don't... I haven't found a huge number of healing potions. Um, I've used... What? Have I used one? Have I used two? I don't know. I haven't found a huge amount, though. Wait, do I really not? I guess I don't, because that was my last potion. And I... Am I done with scrolls? Eh, just top it to go. So I'm actually really good with in terms of identifying things now. Which means I could probably remove some identify off my shopping list um, after I kill this guy. Where is it? Uh, also, I don't need two reflections. I can just keep with a cheaper one. I don't really need this one dragon up. It was alright, but it didn't quite compete. There's a blinking here. There's the identify. Right. Excellent. So we just got the... Last little larynge go. I should probably manually explore the slow instead of just rushing into the middle because I got to be careful with the um, door that leads to the snakes. Should be just around this corner if I'm not mistaken. Right, it's probably like right here the lava pits. Um. What's that shield? Come on, be something good. Oh, plus zero. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, any tower shield is good enough to carry me to the end. Oh, whoops, I did some water explore. Ah, oh, that's a lot of guys. Hmm, because the whole salamander and everything's going to get teleported around me. I'm going to have to teleport out of here myself, I think. They might have, but yeah, there we go. Teleport went off. And now they should have split up, hopefully enough, so that I don't get problems with Sprouted again. Looks like I'm fine here, though. Uh, right, get rid of the Shock Serpent first. These other ones will just drain my magic. I don't think they'll be too bad otherwise. Ooh. They're not letting out. There's definitely wave after wave of these snakes here. It makes sense, although I'm beginning to wonder if the door's already been popped. 
I have a good feeling it has, which is actually generally um better than having the door not already popped. Or the door that will be coming up just around the corner. Because sometimes there's like a guardian stuff behind it or something that's able to pop the door. Yeah, look at that. You can see the door's all already popped. And there might sometimes be salamanders behind as well, which can probably pop the door as well. Anyway, there's my rune just sitting there, so I don't need to fly above the lava or anything. Um, I have no resist electric, but my other resists are pretty good, right? Hmm. Let me quickly check for resist electric, but I think I'm out of luck here. Looks like it, alright. Hold up. I mean, in theory, I could go with, like, a... Oh, not that one. Um, I could go with the stuff of air for a while. It would be... I mean, when I just when I collect the Thunderhogs, and then I could throw rocks at them or something, it's technically possible. Because I don't technically have to have a weapon equipped to do damage. I don't think I need the Polymorph for Flame anymore. Still got the Enchant Armor. I could just dump it on my shield, but... I don't know. I'll look through... Uh... Hold up. I'm still wearing the fire resist, aren't I? Probably be wearing the willpower. Yeah, bring it down to 9%. Ooh, okay. I definitely felt that electricity. That's fine. Is it gonna blink? Nope, okay. Well, that makes my life easy. Uh, you know, pull these guys upstairs, I think. Okay, there we go. There's the Thunderhawk blinking, so I'll put on the resist electric and just throw a rock at it, I think. I haven't really thought of doing that before, trolls, but um, it makes sense that it's a swap to the rock throwing for a little while when fighting those guys. Uh, I don't do very well against missile guys, unfortunately, which is a bit of a problem with the vaults, because there's plenty of things in here that like to shoot their missiles. I do have a shield now, which is something, I guess. I do have the ability to throw things back at enemies, which is nice. Well, throw things at enemies. Um, I'd be way better if I had a reflection. Let's see, do I have a reflection? Is a reflection for sale, more reflection for sale, alright, doesn't look like I've got one though, um, not for sale. Oh, there's, um, what's his name, Norris? There he is. Oh, he's got Thunderhawk with him. Might do a little bit of fog, um, keep the Thunderhawk at bay, basically. All right, I think I want to mirror him up. Um, oh, that's not quite right. Uh, okay, that's probably better. Now I can just throw... Oh, I might put on the resist electric, unfortunately, but then I can just throw the rocks, right? He's got a pole up, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's got a vampiric culprit, which is uh, the best. Let's throw another rock at him. Alright, should be fine. Good. There we go. Yeah, Norris is kind of bad with his confusion for characters that can't just gear it up, but thankfully I've got tons of gearing on this character. So it's not a big issue or nothing. Oh, I tried resting up there. I didn't actually, it wasn't actually damaged. I probably just waited around for some unnecessary turns. Um, wait. Ah, I meant to throw the bog out. It doesn't really matter. I mean, both those guys were doing things that I wanted to stop, like either recalling or, well, it hadn't summoned anything yet, but the bog was obviously going to summon something if you left it. That's just what those guys do. I can't wear the plate armor. Hmm. That's a shame. For a character that's trying to go for heavy armor, but hey. 
Surely it's just a matter of time before I find some good armor. It's probably going to be the depths where I find some good armor to get some gold dragon armor or something. Because I made sure I didn't go with a god that got rid of the armor or something. Uh, it's max boss memorandum. I think that one is like visor if I wanted. No, it doesn't. It's capacitive coupling, portable pile drive, and magnavolt. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Asterion. Um... He's got his shield. Can I just put him in a net? He doesn't have poison resist. Okay. I've only got one cure army left, but I'm going to give it a try. Ah, of course I missed. He said 95%, but then he blocked it, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think that counts the uh, blocking chance. I failed with another net. Okay. Now I've got him in a net, I should be able to throw rocks at him. But except, unfortunately, he escaped way too quick. I'll do a silver javelin on. Because the silver javelin ignores his shield, which is a big part of his defenses. Now these guys have got repel missiles. It's not really that great throwing at them, I guess. Just run up and claw them. How much evasion does that little ghost have? Because I was trying to throw it and I was just uh, missing all the time because it doesn't repel missiles on itself, right? It just does it on everyone else, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but it probably has quite a bit of evasion. Uh, arcane, uh, whiz lamp into here, so I should definitely revelations that one. I got tons of scrolls of revelations, like five left or something. Might actually try another staircase, because one of these staircases should leave basically right next to it. Yeah, this one. Good. Hoo, hoo. Hoo, that's a lot of guys. Okay, let's throw it someone. I killed the guy that recalls. Ouch. Um. I'll try to fill up one of these spaces. Uh. Doesn't quite perfect though. I brought three of them up, which is not what I want to see either. Not charitable, okay. Um, could step from time if I needed to. Oh, I probably do actually. Unfortunately, I have to step from time here. Oh, did I even get away from them? How many are downstairs? Like one or something? All right, well, hopefully, I don't have to go back up that um, same staircase because I think that was got a few too many of the dire elephants on it for me. Alright. I've probably got to drop something before I go in here so I can leave my flight outside. Um Did I sell some brilliance? There we go. I can probably drop uh things that I need are probably the stuff of air, but I don't need that inside here, I doubt. Actually no, I might. I might keep it actually on me. I can probably drop um, Leave the enchant armor outside. Because presumably I wouldn't be using that one in a hurry. Let's go in and see what we've got. So we've got Mystic Towers. These ones are fine. Yeah, it's just a matter of dodging the orbs of destruction at this point. Uh, uh, well, some of them are going to hit me, but it doesn't matter. Like, one of them's not going to be anywhere near enough to kill me with my 200 hit points or anything. Okay. Well, that was down in the open, so I might try and explore um somewhere else before I go fight it. Try and stick around the edge of the map or something. Try and get a little bit of cover, but this isn't looking massively like cover. Yeah, maybe the center of the map will do the trick, because that can also have some cover. I 
it's just a little buckler. That's fine. Um, and I regen way faster than these statues, which is kind of nice in terms of like getting my health back. Also, maybe I should be using some boomerangs in here instead of throwing my rocks around all over the place. I mean, I can't pick up my rocks, but I think the boomerangs are probably similar to use. Cause it's just gonna summon in a, another orb immediately. Sometimes they like to spam their orbs, and sometimes they basically don't summon any orbs at all. It kind of varies a lot. So I probably should be able to explore unless I exclude up the staircase first. Because that was going to lead to the center, which should have some reasonably tough stuff. Although, oh, that's a lot of monster destruction. I don't even know which side is best to approach from here. I mean, either kind of works, I guess. All right, good. I've done everywhere apart from the center, which I know has another statue in it. Probably has some, I think it has some more draconians as well in here. Oh, uh, yep, there we go. There's a knight. So I'm going to bring out a side of, like, the, um, the statue. I think it's probably a good idea. All right, and there's probably something behind one of these doors. There's another purple draconian. Pretty much everyone in here is purple. There's also a book with permafrost eruption, leaves rapid deconstruction, and leaders liquefaction. I really doubt I'm going to be getting this. Oh, resistance potions might be fine. Arch magi robe. I'm really not enough into casting to really care about the arch magi robe. This is one of the few places left with arch magi robes, though, because um, those aren't normal swans anymore. It's a normal cloak, a heavy trident. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I really need here. Let's just get out of here. Oh, wait. Ah, don't leave my items behind. I mean, they're not what they need to hurry, but I should still grab them, right? Uh, how am I resist? I mean, negative fire resist if I took on my scar for resistance, so I reckon I've got to keep it on instead of putting on that cloak. But the cloak would be more armor class, which would be kind of nice. There's just too much risk of running into, like, eggs to her or something, um, or Marjorie or one of the other uniques that does lots of fire damage and just getting, like, one shot or something, uh, if I have negative fire resist. Ooh, okay, this is fine. It's probably in a spot, yeah, where I can just kill the creatures, it should be fine. I killed a ledge. Uh, I think this is good. All right. What's a random wraith doing here? Is there the entrance to the um crypt around here? Kind of feels like there might be just with a random wraith because I don't think that's a normal. Vault spot, is it? Oh, yeah, here's the crypt. Right, so there was totally the crypt on this level. Makes sense now. Uh, can I actually quick civil scale something? I don't think so. I could technically try charm it to stop it recalling, but... Yeah, well, I guess that recalling doesn't really matter when it's on its own. Ah, whoops. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just, like, getting one off with my keys on my keyboard, just hitting slightly the wrong key, I think. It doesn't really matter with, the, like, the auto explore keys. It feels slightly off, because most of the keys don't really do it. It's, like, right? Like, it's, um... Using the quiver isn't gonna do anything if I if I there's no creatures around or anything because it won't be anyone to throw my boomerangs at. 
And the other one just like lists the items you're wearing, like the other key around the order explores, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think one of the moments the inventory said all things that don't matter if you do the by accident. Um That's some serious number of dudes. I might try and just get them with a bit of slouch. There we go, go with the main ones. But this one's mighted up. Can I get it with a curari? Let's see. It's uh got no poison resist, so yeah. There we go. Uh oh. It's all dire elephants again. Although they're not pushing me out of the choke point too far, so that's fine. Alright. Um Might go upstairs and try and fight those dire elephants that I left lying around. Where have I left them? I left them in here somewhere. Maybe. Right, not too bad. That means uh, if I go back up that staircase, I shouldn't run into any problems or anything. Um, I think I'm ready to... Not the crypt. I'm ready to go downstairs. Uh... Got animate armor. I don't know if you have enough armor to make that worthwhile. No, I don't think that's ever a spell that this character would get, but I might almost welcome a ballet character. I think the only character I've got that go before is like a summoning character. I'll just pause the arrow tower shield, that's fine. That's actually a proper joke point, like if I stand back a little bit, yeah. Um, 16 throws is pretty good. What else do I need? So, I'd be getting armor because it's not that good of armor. What else is there? Shields is alright of 15. Um, I might bring the invocations up just uh, to like 15 or something because that should get the step of time reliable. I might need the armor out, get it to 10 or something. I don't even know if that's enough to get one more armor class. It might be. Oh, okay. We're a bit of dodging of mobs and destruction. I mean, this character's had plenty of experience dodging mobs of extraction, right? Destruction, I mean. They had that whole whiz lab, which was all about dodging mobs and destruction. I rely quite heavily on throwing it here because, well, for one thing, I've got a decent number of throwing weapons. But for another thing, these guys are doing quite a bit of damage as they get out to me because they don't have a lot of defense, right? So. Yeah, it definitely feels like the thing to be doing the majority of the time. Okay, one more strength, right? Bring it up to... Oh, it gets up, goes up by three. That's right, because I'm a troll. Brings me up to 66 damage with a 0 0.7 attack delay. Sometimes 0 0.8 attack delay. That's pretty good damage. But that's pretty amazing damage, actually. It's not just good damage at this point. Is that Thunderhawk survived? I think I killed it. I think I don't worry about it sneaking up behind me or anything. That that's not an artifact, is it? Protection from fire. No, I've got a I got a better protection from fire, but I guess I can uh tap two rings of protection from fire on me in case I need them. No, oh, let's just get into my little joke point, fight all these guys, and then well, I guess an upstate case if I need it. Oh wait. Sojo Boat could be a problem because he has repel missiles on it. Um I'll try and bring it around this corner, but she's also got an electricity. I might need to drop a potion of resistance. Hold on. I might do a potion of might. Uh, potion of resistance. Hopefully that's enough. Bring out the little beast, but it's just going to be a tiny one. Okay. Then I can mirror her up. Not mirror my little beast, because that's just a tiny one. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I absolutely clotted death. And I think my creatures were somewhat of a distraction, at least. Uh, 
So I said a little bit might. I know I've been mugged like a few times, but it really doesn't feel like much given those guys are like a 9% chance of marking me or something. I think it was 9%. Yeah, I was up with this guy's shield, just a just an ordinary old kite shield. Nothing fancy. I bet cool the other guy recalls, but the other guy is mited up. Who buffed up that guy's- Oh, the brain here buffed up that guy's magic. I was wondering about that, because I uh, didn't see anyone that could have cast a spell or anything to buff it up. Also, there probably aren't that many creatures in here that can even cast spells to buff up um, those guys' magic. Because that's kind of more of an elf thing, although you do occasionally get some of the tougher elves in the vaults. They're kind of rare, though. Speaking about elves, I should probably go fight some elves. Oh, trading the armor skill did give me one more armor class. That's not too bad. That makes it worthwhile. Hey, it's a data. Uh, the unique for next week with the challenge runs. All right. I might try and bring her a little bit closer. There we go. And if I zap her with a vial of floods, which I should have, she should be very trivial to take out. Very trivial to take out. I just want to get surrounded by fire elementals. I want some actual creatures to bring up. Also, I maybe... Oh, do I really lose the willpower? I mean, against these guys, I think... Yes. But against the uh, tougher elves, I'm about to put the willpower back on, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, because two willpower's not going to be enough to get through here without getting banished. Um, Gary could, this character could probably survive being banished. All right. And it would be perfect enough, but it would probably be survivable. All right, what's a shop got for me? It's a gadget shop. My burst ice burst flame. No, I don't think I need any of those. But I think I already dropped my flame ones because I wasn't really using them or anything at this point in the game. I wish I could see better what's in this vault. That elf's gonna open the door, isn't it? I guess I can open the door first. Whoa! What did that be with? It was probably like lightning or something. What's the wrong guy? Ah. I mean, it definitely felt like enough damage to be lightning, um, which was a little bit of worry at first, but I think everything's good now. What? Oh, it was uh, probably in, uh, the shape general was probably in Unseen Horror or something. If it started off invisible, that's most likely creature. Those boots look kind of nice. I, see what, I mean, that elf looks reasonably tough. And there's also Kowaraf's ghost here. Mountain Dwarf Fighter. They do 50 damage, 160 health. They got less health than me. They've got some decent reserves. They've got lots of AC, of course, because they're like a Mountain Dwarf. Um... If I want to... Oh, I can't wear the boots anyway. Never mind. Oh, there's a hat, though. I definitely got to clear the rest of the level before I think about going in there, but a hat could be worthwhile because I don't think I've got a hat. Oh. Wait. What? That's worth coming back for. Oh, there's just straight up an artifact hat in here. I mean, I know why I didn't come in here earlier. It makes sense. Why don't you slouch these guys? I think it's going right now, though. Oh, maybe not. Huh. I probably could have done that a bit better. But anyway, let's check out the hat. So it's plus one hat of three decks. That's good. And thanks for armor class uh, for free, basically. Well, it caused me a little bit of party. Maybe because they didn't do that very well. Um, remember, it's this corrosion they definitely don't need. All right. There we go. Got a hat. I mean, the other hat could still maybe be useful. But I don't think it's worth, like, uh, how tough the fight is to get a hat that might not even be that useful.
Right, first level of the elven holes. Um, there's a small chance of getting Joel dragged down at the end here. I've had that before with the characters. I think did actually need it, so. Yeah, that could always be really great with the treasure vaults. Like, hey, I have some gold dragon armor. Um, I probably don't need to do the Hall of Blades, and I probably shouldn't do the Hall of Blades with this character. Alright, what do I want? Do I just want, like, straight up more melee damage? I probably do. Let's bring fighting up to, like, 20. Um, unarmed up to 23. I'll leave throwing for now, but it's probably worth getting a little bit of throwing soon. The title I'm going for is the armor one, so I'm really hoping for some heavy armor to actually make that useful. Because whether I found good armor or not, I'm still going for the um, armor title. <laughs> kind of already really determines is, is my go going to be useful or not so useful whether I find uh, the armor. That would be the Hall of Blades, that little spot I ran past. Yeah, it very much looks like it, so we just got to exclude it off. Alright, one more level of the Elven Halls, but of course it's the tough levels. This one will take uh, maybe a little bit longer. Some of the other levels, that must be a shapeshift for that Harpy. There's no way it's a real Harpy, right? Uh, they're not even going to move forward, I don't think so. It's going to stand back and do its thing, I guess. Hard putting out fire when you're a champion angels, because every move takes like two turns or something. So it's kind of slow at uh, moving. I mean, I guess you can kind of do it out of combat, but you still get like burned twice, I think, every time you move. Um, I don't think it puts it out any, any faster either. Why do I not have the ordinary javelins? Um, I thought I picked some of those up earlier, but apparently I must not have. Might have to go check, see if I've left some lying on the ground or something. What do I need? I can get, uh, get a light a bit, probably useful. Electrification, maybe. Heroes is useful. Um, I don't remember about these mites because I think I've got quite a few mites that I could go use if I need to. <laughs> oh, hey, it's back to being sunny. It's so like a storming in real life. Yeah, because it was like a little bit of thunder for a while and straight back to being sunny again. I guess that's just how the weather is sometimes. Alright, uh, oh, it's the ring of poison resist. Oh, these are the tough guys. Is there something I wanted to do before I went in here? I kind of feel like there is. I mean, I obviously I should explore the rest of the level. Uh, I thought it was like something I wanted to swap around with my gear or something, but uh, can't think of it all, all of a sudden. Oh, it's probably fine. I mean, it might be something to do with getting willpower. Oh, those are expensive blinks, but I should totally buy them. Whoops. Uh, don't need the brilliance. I don't think I care about nothing else. Yeah, get my blink up to it. Six scrolls is definitely worth it. All right, let's go in. How many teleports have I got? Nine. Okay, that's fine. Because I reckon I'll probably end up using some of those. Oh, this is quite right. Um... I think I started teleport here. Ouch! Cause I know poison resist here. Getting kind of beaten up. What can I actually do against that guy? Hopefully, I can split up with the rest of the guys. Uh, a little bit of a flash would be useful, but I don't know where I'm gonna get that one from. Um, maybe partly explored. There must be a whole frost cannon. In the way or something. Where's my enlightenment? I should probably drink one of those, I reckon, so I don't get banished here. Uh... 
I think we oh, still say partly explored. Um, okay, I'll pull these guys around the corner as best I can. I don't really have other choices. Ooh, what's this guy got? It's got a plus 10 evening star of Venom. I still got no resist, um, Venom, unfortunately. I was gonna check out Javelins, that's what I was gonna check out, but I might just try and boomerang these guys. There we go, that did the trick. Um, not boomerang, Javelin, those guys. All right. Well, yeah, I should probably do that right now. I should go um check for javelins. Uh, elven holes, elven holes. Okay, looks like my fault. The javelins does just uh really short of normal javelins for whatever reason. That's like good here. There's still the morning star. Nah, I mean, it's a good morning star, but... Wait, is it morning star or an evening star? Evening star. Yeah, it's a really good evening star. If you're a sort of character that used the uh, base of flails, which I think trolls are theoretically okay at, um, that would be the right way to go. Ooh. That's probably too many guys. I'm gonna teleport out again. Hopefully not teleport in, because that's always the worst thing when you do a teleport and it takes you further in. The ring is fire the slaying, see invisible strength. That's actually not bad. Hold up. Um, I can obviously swap out to see if it's one. Right, so my one's a little bit of strength. The slaying strength, that's going to be way more than my one does. Yeah, I should definitely put this one on. Which means I could probably go drop the uh, basic fire and just, oh, I've already dropped it. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh oh. Now, oh, short duration paralysis makes sense. What's up with this guy? Got the Venom Rapier, I see. It's got two of them even. Okay, this is fine. I just gotta pull out the javelins and I should be able to get rid of the Sumner here. This guy stays back and stabs me with a pole arm at range. Uh, I think I picked up a random ring of the invisible or something. Something not so useful. I don't care about the trident personally. Um, don't care about the evasion either. I don't think. No, the AC like resist and resist corrosion. What I've got on is definitely better than that. Oh, I do have my javelin. What's it was a random the invisible ring that filled up the space that was meant to be for that javelin. I think. Right, well, there's some heavy armor here, but it's unfortunately not one that I can wear as a troll. Uh... Whoa, that's fine. I've still got health, but uh, I almost need to pull out the Violent Floods or something if that guy kept on hitting me with uh, things. Uh... Done? I don't know if there was much useful left on the ground. Let's do a quick check. Curing Potion for sale. I think I'm still topped up with those. Still the Morning Star, alright. Cloak of the Thief. Oh, that's the one that makes you really quiet, isn't it? Minus magic points, see invisible. I don't think I can quite swap that one on, but that's interesting. Because I'd lose my fire resist for my scarf resistance, which would probably be a really terrible idea. Um. Oops. Ah. Picked back up the fire one that I just dropped. But being quiet is actually kind of nice. I don't think I can put it on right now, unfortunately. Oh, well. Did I get the invisible for a ring I did? So I don't need to see invisible either. So it's basically just quietness. I'm probably not worth it then. Anyway, let's go to the depths. The depths is where I could get some really nice armor, hopefully. I'm getting kind of low on the boomerangs. I might swap to the rocks. I'll probably get some more rocks in here as well. At least that's the plan, because there should be all the, um, what are they called? Stone giants, I think, are the ones in here that tend to throw the rocks. Uh, there might be the occasional cycles, but yes, these stone giants that really top up the rocks. In fact, I should, uh, throwing's going up well, but no, I'll get, I'll get thrown to 20. 
I think 20 is probably the about what I get for end game throwing. I think with this character, I don't think I'll keep it going all the way to mid to lay on my rocks or anything. Not this time round. But no, 20 is definitely enough to be respectable. Also, if I get plus five uh, ice dragon armor, I can get into a trove. But unfortunately, the artifact one I'm uh, wearing right now is only like plus zero or something. Um. I definitely don't have the charge armor to spare. Yeah, I don't think it's unfortunately going to be worth getting into that trove unless I find the armor pre-enchanted. Or most of the way pre-enchanted would also work. Um, that's a gold dragon. I want to fight that. Ah, no armor. Oh, well. 20 Faith, I don't actually care about mythical titles and I... Seem to be doing okay with my party. It does sometimes go down, but it seems to have gone back up at the moment. Um. There's potentially a tormentor in here or something. This um oh, the damnation guy. Right, that's what there is today. There's usually some sort of really tough demons in there though. Wow, the spring was like actually healing up pretty quick. I know that they had like the regen on it, but I've never really seen it, thought of it as like a huge problem before. But yeah, apparently it's actually fairly substantial regen. All right, first of all, the death was no problem, so let's keep it going down. And well, I got my first gold dragon, so hey, if it keeps up like this, I might get some gold dragon armor. The blade tells me to resist electric, sure. I still don't have the resist electric, unfortunately. Um, are these guys gonna follow? I think I can throw a rock at the electric dragon. Uh, not even flayed right now. Maybe these could I slouch. That's not too bad. Do a couple of slouches. Maybe another one. Ah, I wanted to get rid of the guy that was flaying me. There we go. How many resistance to negative do I? Wait, no, I do. I have uh, two resistance to negative. That's not too bad, actually. That's barely going to be doing any damage with the Shadow Dragon's Breath. Oh, whoops. Uh, don't move up. That's not the right thing to do. Okay. We're just slowly back up, but of course, being Chamber Angels, it's pretty hard to back up there to kill most of the guys first before I can even really start backing up, right? Um, is that just plus zero scale, Storm Dragon scale? So it'll be maybe more protective than what I got. I lose a little bit of willpower, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, whoops, bumped my microphone. Um, takes a little bit of a shame, but it might be worthwhile. Let me go check it out. Oh, I really don't think I need that cloak of the thief. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So if I put it on, I gain uh, two armor class. I lose about the same evasion and shield value. It would lose a bit of cold resist. I gain a resist electric. I think it's actually worthwhile. I get contaminated, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know. I'll give it a try. Oh, dude. Oh, frail. No, nah, I gotta reset that one, I think. Stupid. That's probably fine. Yeah, I mean, I could do with a uh, 19 end. No problems with that. Oh, Faith Regen? Hey, that's a good looking little amulet in there. I mean, sure, I won't say no to a free Faith. It does make it obviously hard to swap, but I don't think I've really got anything worth swapping, so no problems with that. Oh, Glaive, a heavy Glaive. I don't know, two-handed pole arms are always really hard to use. I mean, two-handed weapons in general tend to be fairly hard to use. Um... They used to kind of be kept alive by the Manifold Assault spell, but that's 7th level now, so... I don't know. Uh, let's go downstairs. Hey, Gold Dragon! That's exactly what I want to see. Oh, not the poison. Um... I can't some extra fire resist, so I might just put on the poison resist, right? Hold on. Yeah, I probably should. Um, I lose a bit of strength and slaying and stuff, but, ah, uh, well, whatever. Also, if I can swap back on and after the fight, I don't think it left any armor for me this time round either. Oh no, I'm marked. I can maybe make it back to the staircase.
All right, well, this is fine. I should probably go up though and go down somewhere else, I reckon. Not there though, not pandemonium, whoops. I was trying to accidentally go into pandemonium, that would have been bad, at least it wants you. Um, like, do you really want to go into pandemonium? You won't be able to return immediately. That's probably worth going up. Come over just head straight back down here, there we go, pull up a few more guys alone. This isn't the best uh, case for stand dancing, um, because I do end up surrounded once I go up and I don't know the blink spell or anything. Whoa, 100 fly. I think I just go up and wait off the fly. Mm. Go back to the mark staircase because I reckon those guys have probably cleared out a bit by now. Like, yeah, it looks a bit better. Because I was recognizing like a lot of the same sort of guys on the other staircase as that. So I was like, oh, it's probably the same guys. Oh, come on, just follow up the staircase. Why is this troll not following me? I don't get it. Oh, well. Oh, because it was a fake one? That's probably why. Because it was a mirror of another troll, I think. Yeah, because when I killed the, like, the Rashad, it disappeared. Is that shop the changing room? I should take it out, because it usually has potions of mutation, which can be quite helpful. And it is, in fact, a changing room. So there's a... Uh, Dragon blood talisman, uh, no mutations this time round, just the lignifications. Manual folk me, manual shape shifting, no. I decided not to get the statue form. It would have worked, um, as a thing this cannon could have done, but no. Not today. Today is all about heavy armor. Well, in theory. Uh I need a few more gold dragons though, but hey. I still got one level of depth, so that's actually not that many levels left. Mm. It's always been a bit of a worry when you're getting kind of low in the depths and you still haven't got your gold dragon armor. But most of the gold dragons, I think, are on the fourth level, right? Like, there's the uh, ones that guard the entrances on and stuff. Um, I'm going up. I'm getting blasted by the quicksilver way too much there. Yeah, it's the same old Quicksilver Dragon. But I should be able to go back down the staircase, I think. As far as how many rocks I've still got left, given how many enemies I've been fighting here. All right. Whoops. Ah, I threw my rock into the water, didn't I? Yeah, well. One rock's pride, um. <laughs> oh, hey, Phoebe. I've got 40 rocks left. I should definitely throw some at her. I want to get her in, I think, a net. Oh, nope. There we go. And then just throw rocks at her. I think that's the, probably the way to go. Oh, I might have to get her in another net. Hey, there we go. Okay, excellent. How many of the nets did I get back, though? I don't think I really got my nets back, unfortunately. Yeah, that's about what happens with the nets. They just get broken, but hey. Oh, there's actually one of them left on the ground one that I must have missed was, so I'll still have two nets. Well, as soon as I get a chance, I actually pick them back up. I got those, I think, a lot of those off, um, like, merfolks that could throw nets at me. <laughs> Where did I get the resistance electric from anyway? It's probably body armor, isn't it? So when I lose this body armor, I guess um, I'm not going to be resistant to electricity anymore. Uh... Okay. I mainly flayed there, so I'll just step back a little bit. There we go, the flake goes. Bit of problem, I need to hit it with a... Where's a boomer? Not boomer, a javelin. There we go, get basically all my health back. Um... Let's 
fine sitting in this poison, maybe. Definitely don't want to be sitting in it too much longer, though. This has got to be the entrance to uh, Zot, though. Like, given how many things are outside of it. Yeah, there we go. The entrance is on. Unfortunately, no more gold dragons. Come on, game. Just throw some gold dragons at me. I'm going to have to start uh, trading the armor skill soon, regardless of whether I get the gold dragons. I mean, I need to get my shields up. What am I setting in my limits here? Um, I might actually reduce the limit on that unarmed to, like, 21. I know it's good, but I don't think I can get too much more. I might get the shields up to 20, and then I'll just uh, do armor after that. Hopefully that's all right. I'm going to go somewhere, though, to get another rune, I think. Right? Is there... I think Vols 5 would be fine, because I got tons of regen on this character. Wait, don't go down that staircase. Uh, I'll maybe do. So I'll put on a Might first. Anything else I want to put on first? I don't have any haste, because I'm Chamber Eidos, right? I'm a little bit low on the willpower, which is a bit of a shame. Um, Right, well, I guess I read the teleport and go down. He's going to be a little bit of enlightenment. Just throw rocks at the guy that can mark me, though. There's also guys that could par paralyze me and stuff. Um, it's okay. Want to get a condensed vein down on some of these guys. It didn't work perfectly, of course. As I, they never really do when you're low on the evocation skill. I think you have to have pretty high evocation skill to make it work. The armory did arm. Oh no, I got mic'd. No, that's not right. I got eight cancellation, but it's still not great. Um, it's a pretty close to the edge of the map, though, so I should probably be fine, actually. Yeah, these are all the guys that the mic managed to pull in. Um. Why is it? Oh, of course, it's repelling missiles. Um, I gotta just mirror it up, but hopefully, I don't need that. It's just I feel like there's gonna be a bunch more guys coming along here. I think this guy. I'm down to 19 rocks. I'm actually doing pretty well with the rocks. All right, well that clears out my. Oh, there's a gold drain. Excellent. That's what I want to see. That was not my initial entrance. Um, did it drop something, please? Please, there's some armor. No, it didn't drop some armor. There's maybe, maybe some more gold dragons in here. There's still a chance of getting some gold dragon armor. I hate the gold dragon armor lottery, though. It does get a bit much. Just hoping for gold dragon's armor. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why it often with the trolls, they just take statue form, then you don't have to worry about it. And you can split all your um, charge armors on your shield, which is kind of nice as well. All right. I'm just going to quickly check with dragon armor, see what I've got. So I've got the swamp dragon armor. Um, I mean, I can just enchant up my electric dragon armor if I need to. I had no poison resistance, which is maybe a bit of a problem, but apart from that, I got a lot of the things I do need. Hey, what's up with this guy? Resist electric AC, 9 dex, minus 2 slag, that's... Interesting. Oh my god, the resist electric, okay, so if I swap out this one, I'd lose my resist corrosion, wouldn't I? Keep the AC, I'd lose oh, my resist negative, it's probably fine. Yeah, the dex is nice. Um, because that would help my shield value maybe a little bit with my evasion. I don't even know if it helped that. Oh, this guy's got a fire resist, resist negative, resist electric. Interesting. And there's also a gold dragon here. Please have armor. I don't know if it did. 
Oh, I didn't know Barber. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Did it have armor? Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I think it did. Hopefully there's another one. Come on. Give me another gold dragon game. <laughs> um. I mean, the fire is a strength. is definitely a better option. Hmm. I might wait on these ones a little bit. Once I get the... Well, if I get the Golden Dragon Armor, I can definitely get the ones for Resist Electric, and then my Resist should be looking pretty good, but uh, I don't think it's worth it just yet. Did I keep the Poison Resist? Wait, did I drop that? Was I that confident I was going to get some Golden Dragon Armor out of those guys so I dropped the Poison Resist? I think so. I don't know. Not a mark. I should cancel it up. Uh, it's a flail, okay, whatever. Uh, I think I can kill these guys. So the other thing you can do is after you've been mined, you can like teleport out if you need to, but it will put you somewhere that possibly has enemies. It will put you on a, basically anywhere on the level, could be unexplored. Of course, you need to, if you're teleporting out after being mic'd, you should, of course, cancel out the mic first. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really help your situation. You just end up in a new part of the level, but still mic'd. All right. Get rid of brilliance. What does this guy got? It's got um, my burst. That's... Eh, I can do a little bit of damage with my burst, but it's not like a huge deal or anything. Got old snake bite, good old snake bite. All right, there's also some sort of artifact. It's uh, just a mace, unfortunately. Could be the real rune. Hey, it is the real rune because I hadn't seen the real rune yet. There's probably going to be a fake rune here somewhere on this level, though, I'd imagine. What's the product of? Anti magic. It's a pretty good anti magic product, but doesn't really help me. They're not one of those weird axe wielding trolls. Um, I mean, I have done weird weapons on trolls before. I did, like, a sword on a troll before, because I wanted the special troll sword title. And it was kind of bad, because the sword was, like, deck space, and I got tons of strats as a troll. It didn't really work that well, but it did the trick, because I think I got, like, Maxwell's Serbic Engine, so I was like, oh, yeah, might as well go with uh, this game as a... Uh, I might mirror up the, the lich here. I might go that game as the one with the sword, because... Well, I had one of the best swords of the game, right? Um, I do want the summoning. I'm not going to put that Ice Dragon armor back on, I don't think. Um, it was good while I had it. It was probably worth uh, almost 2,000 gold I spent on it. Well, 1,625, whatever it was. Oh, I just can't hit. Um, I care about the dude's scimitar still. No, it's really just armor at this point in the game. Um, well, I'm able to go into Zod. I mean, I guess that's something. I could try my shield. What else can I do? Let me just check for other shields. Um, see if there's anything good here. Uh, Kaiju and Potential now is the same old. All right, let's go to Zot. See what that's got in store for me. Tentacle monstrosity, apparently. Ow. Of course, these guys didn't get affected by the fear. I'm doing something. Oh, no, I got a Moth of Wrath. I hate it when that happens. Um... Ah, it's gotta cost me a blinking. Still don't have a way of getting rid of my own tentacle monstrosity. Oh, that's not good. I got zapped by some electricity there. Um, I mean, I can step from time, but I need to if something gets sent berserk here or whatever. Maybe.
Uh, but I have it at a choke point now at least, so the wrong side doing the trick. Oh. Might try and step a bit from time, see what I end up with, because I don't want to be hit by too much more damnation. There we go, that's letting me heal up a bit. I got tons of rocks, because I still got 50 on me, and there's like, I don't know how many on the ground by now. I love getting to this point in the game where I can just throw endless rocks. Yeah, 77 rocks, that's tons. Um, ooh, a gold dragon. Come on, come on. Come on, God, no! My gold dragon didn't leave any armor for me, no! Maybe there'll be another one, maybe. Hey, there's another one! Okay, come on, game! Um... Why need to put on a bit of poison for this for a little while here? Did it? Did it? No, it did not! Maybe there'll be another one, though. Maybe. Feels wrong not having poison resistance here, but I don't know if I can really put on a poison resist. Come on. I mean, there's no more dragons at least. Come on. No, there's no more dragons. I'm out of dragons. Hey, it's a gold dragon. Of course, I gotta put on my poison resist. No, no armor. Why? Oh, well. I'm probably going to do, like, at least some crypt just to get the experience of the title of after as well. Um. Ah, just, a, just a regular dragon, not what I'm after. I don't know if I should be magic mapping out all these floors, but I should probably... Oh, actually, I can go to the escape hatch here. Might just take it. I know my leads have already spawned. That looks fine. Hey, Gold Dragon, come on. Come on. No! Why? <laughs> okay. Well, let's go downstairs again. Oh, I should have lignified one of these toads, I think. I've got four lignification. I think there's an extra one for sale if I need to go buy it as well, so... Shouldn't run out of those, at least. Uh, why is the shift I was decided to do anything too shifty? Oh, there it goes. Shifting me around. No, it really didn't cause any problems that time around. Just kind of sat there. I don't really want to be slow to poison up here. Um, I think I might just slouch on these guys. At the very least, it's going to get rid of, uh, the toe. I'll try to get rid of some of the other guys as well. There we go. Did take rather a lot of slouch. I'm not sure if that was worth the party or not, but I guess it got me through there. Yeah, I mean, the toes, uh, the, not toes, what are they? Uh, death cops die reasonably quick to the slouch. Oh. I have to back up here, but they will get next to me. Try to get into a little corridor here. Setting into a boulder beetle? Satires? Alright. I think that's probably fine. Alright, Zot 2 done. Let's uh, find another way down. I'm only level 24. I'm not a huge level to scare. That's not good with the Moth of Wrath in there. Alright, let's uh, so find another staircase. Hopefully this one looks a little bit better. This looks pretty clear. Hey, it's Gold Dragon. Come on. Come on! Oh, really? That didn't have a body, did it? Man. Wait, I should get the Moth of Wrath here, I think. Now oh, I managed to berserk up the other one. Not from lack of trying, though, because I definitely threw enough rocks at that Moth of Wrath. Um... I don't live without the willpower. Hopefully I don't need it. I mean, it's like the liches and stuff that can uh, get you if you don't have the willpower. Like, they can, uh... Hit you with... Oh, what is it? Something. Really? Really? Scrum pause? That's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to get out my javelins, I think. And just try to get rid of this moth of wrath. 
That's better. Hey, it's a golden dragon. Okay. Come on. Hey! Hey, it did it! Finally! I got the armor! Oh my goodness, okay, so I can drop the poison resist ring. I can grab the armor. I can retreat back somewhere. Um, like this staircase here is probably somewhere to retreat back to. Uh... Go all in on the armor. Because I gotta get the armor all the way to like 27 or something, it's gonna take a long time. Anyway, so I've got uh, 21 armor class, if I put this on... Got 24 armor class, so a little bit more. Um... Was I going to take out this resist corrosion one? I think I was. Probably put on either the AC. No, nah, probably the AC dex one is the one to go with. Let's give it a try. Fortunately, I'm going to get contaminated. Feel agile? Hold up. I mean, char? That's not terrible. Okay. Um, What else have we got? We've got the enchant armor. I should probably drop that on my gold dragon armor. There we go, 30 armor class, that's half decent. Uh, my resists are a bit better. I'm missing the resist corrosion. I've got max health fire resist. Everything's looking pretty good. Apart from the resist corrosion and the willpower. I mean, I guess that's true. No willpower, but still. Now it's time to see if I can grow a little bit of armor class and a little bit of this game I've got left. Well, it might not be a little bit, actually. We'll see how much of this game I've got left. Uh... Oh man, can I just dig? There'd be a lot of dudes after me. They're all gonna go berserk as well, but that's probably fine. Yeah, it seems completely fine. Hey, it's another gold dragon. I wonder what they'll say. Hey, now I've dropped armor. Two in a row that dropped armor after, like, I don't know how many that didn't drop armor. <laughs> Gotta be at least five or something that didn't drop armor. Probably more than that, actually, counting on the ones in the depths as well. Uh, this isn't perfect, yeah, because that guy gets behind me. I just give it a third. No, that's not going to quite work. Um, if I get out of javelin, all oh, these basic javelins are most out of, but that should do the trick. I need to put down something. I need to put down, like, I don't know, poison or something. So I can stand it and not get hit by the death rake. I need something. Alright, well, I think I can throw rocks finally. There we go. Um, should still be using my lignification. I should see how my resist look in the lignification. So, I'm missing cold resist, but apart from that, I got stuff. So it's not too bad. Oh, um... Can I get a fog out so I don't get hit by this guy? Am I still in fog? Yeah, there's a cloud of fog here, alright. Uh, I think I slouched these guys. Didn't do that much. There's some damage to them, I guess. Oh, my nose is really dripping today, but that's fine, I guess. Um, it's one of these balls. So God, oh, look at all those Zod traps in here. That would absolutely be terrible going in there. I'll see what else I can see, but I'm pretty sure it's just full of Zod traps. Yeah, I can't really see anything from here, but um, no. You get, like, paralyzed, and uh, you get contaminated super high with those ones. It's never worthwhile. So how's my armor skill going? 12? It's still got a good, uh, what, 15 more skill to go? It's got a long way. Before I can become an iron troll with this character. Oh, another gold dragon. Wow, there's been so many gold dragons this game. That's kind of crazy. And I needed so many of them, so it was good. Is that a shapeshifter? No, it's a random human. There might be a vault around here with clouds? Maybe? Maybe not? It doesn't really look like it. I mean, there's the dire elephants in here. Oh, I guess it was just a random human for whatever reason. I can actually set up these poison vapors now without any problems. Um, 
Yeah, whatever. Do I care about this moth wrath? I kind of do. I gotta try and get a Quicksilver Javelin through it. Uh, did something. But it killed the ugly things, which is just as good as killing the moth of wrath, because, um, not the ugly things, whatever those dudes are called. Tentacle monstrosity. It's the tentacle monstrosity that I don't want to go berserk. I mean, it's fine, but it's almost dead. Like, oh, I'm berserk. Like that guy. Um, I think I got hit by a pie or something. Too berserk to throw. It's always a shame. I don't know why it's so hard to like, throw a rock at someone when you're so mad to throw a rock. I don't know that quite makes sense, but hey. Oh, it'll probably be a bit overpowered if Berserk actually let you use um range things. Yeah, there's another one. The humans it might have been a cloud mod on here anyway. And the human might just yeah, I mean there's tons of clouds in here. The human probably just walked a little way. Yeah, there they are. That makes more sense. Um just good old scarf of harm, of course. Uh I haven't quite killed this guy. I gotta take out this one before it summons anything too bad. Which means probably using a javelin here is a thing to do when it's hiding behind that other one. Although I damage it, it feels really good. 84 damage with a 0.6 attack delay, and I've stopped the unarmed as well. Yeah, no wonder that feels so good. Trolls do ridiculous damage. Um, I mean, my defense is still like somewhat mediocre, but with that sort of damage, kind of crazy. Is this the last level Zot? I think it is. I should probably be magic mapping or something. How much more skill do I need? Oh. Wait. Uh. Armor's still going? No, that's fine. It's on 14. It's ages away. Alright, where's my magic map? I know I've got uh, quite a few of those. Oh, apparently I also have a requirement um, sitting here. So the ring of minus cover resist, evasion, flight, strength plus two, and dex plus three. Now it's not very good. Now it's not very good requirement. I think I'll just leave it. Um. What have we got here? This side looks fine. There's a few alarm traps. The other side is a net trap. I'll probably just take the side that has like a few alarm traps, but otherwise looks perfectly fine. How many rocks do I got left? I still got like 50 on me to spite them all on the ground, so I think there's more than enough rocks to carry me through the rest of this game. Man, I love uh, trolls throwing rocks. They make throwing so much fun. Uh... What do I have? I'm obviously, I don't have any haste because I'm Chamber Eidos, but I do have Might, which helps with melee. Got a few healing potions, which could be helpful. I think I still got some blinking. Got five blinking left, two summoning. Yeah, I still got a few useful things. I think I've got some fear as well, which does work on everything in here, but it works on some things. And I still got like a mirror. Um, condenser vein somewhat works, but the mirror is probably the best one where you got almost no skill. Oh, don't set off the alarm trap. This, I think, is where I pull out my silver javelins. Like, everyone's rolled up here, and some of these things are pretty tough creatures. I don't even know if clouds can go berserk. I don't know if I've ever seen one go berserk. Uh-oh. Don't petrify, please. Yeah, well, that was a crystal spear that hit me. I think if I do a slouch, I should be able to get rid of some of the worst guys here. Another slouch. Oh, I'll do another one as well, but this isn't looking as bad anymore. Apart from that shifter, which just minus teleported me, that's actually not great. I'm gonna try to step from time so that trap doesn't get set off. Feel clumsy, alright. So there's an over fire, I've got good fire to this. I guess I can put on like a little bit of strength. Some healing potions if need be. She might need I think it might need one actually. 
Back up to 100 health. Um, they get some scales, okay, that's not too bad. Scales minus things minus said, but that's that's actually probably on the positive side overall with all those ones. Okay. Ah, oh, they got the mic trap. I do the cancellation, and then I think I step from time and spread these out a little bit. At least I got rid of the mic trap now, so that should make my life a bit easier. Uh, except there's still another one there, of course. Right, level 26. I done my max on my level because I'm already 16 on the armor skill, so I still need 11 on that. Yeah, this character is certainly going to have to go to Crypt, aren't they? I'll do both levels of, uh, both sides, not levels, of Vaults 5 here, I think. Uh, just to get as much XP as possible. Okay. But how much these large rocks hit for? They feel like they do quite a bit, but I think they're slower attacking. 107 damage, and they certainly hit quite hard. You can see a lot of creatures just exploding with the rockets them. Um... I mean, my claws are probably, like, better damage um, if you count for the attack delay, but they don't have the range like the rocks do. As a Chamber Angels character, you almost do kind of need a bit of range on something, or... I don't know, so you can sometimes do a character without too much range if they have, like, Vi's electric charge and stuff, but I really like having range on Chamber Angels characters. Oh, not again. At least I have so many of these, uh, cancellation potions. Hold up, I know what I should be doing. Silver Javelins, that's what I should be doing. Look at that, it took away away like half of the, there we go, half the orbs of uh, fire's health on each silver javelin. Uh, I put some stuff on a love trap, I think so. I think I left like a rocket on a love trap or something. Which I could probably go grab now, because I'm pretty sure it's a love trap, yeah. Which doesn't matter anymore, because I've done the... Oh, well, apparently you haven't done the entire level. Alright, well, let's get out of the silver javelins again. They're not, uh, at all guaranteed to hurt. But when they do hurt, they do good damage, like amazing damage. Um... Alright, well, how much more experience do I need? I need another, um, 9.1 levels, and the aptitude's minus 2. Yeah, that's definitely going to require the crypt. Probably pretty much the entire crypt. Um, hopefully not the side boots because I don't have to resist corrosion anymore. Trolls aren't exactly known for their good skill aptitude, so getting the 27 skill titles can take, take a bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to stand with this character, though. I think I'll just grab my title and run. <laughs> that's the plan anyway. I wonder how good Jay Brandles would be an extended. I mean, they'd probably be alright. With a uh, high aptitude, uh, attributes, I mean, no aptitudes never get old if right. Someone got killed by one of these laughing skulls hitting him for like 75 damage with a ball draining, which is kind of crazy. Because uh, the more of them you have together, the more damage they do. And I think it also got close to like back trolling them. Or maybe they were uh, fragile or something. Um, but yeah, I, I, that wouldn't happen to me because I got over this negative from one of my rings, so I'd be fine. Also, 75 damage wouldn't even kill this character, but although it would take away a decent chunk of my health, it would be enough to be noticeable at least. Um, What's the goal for this character, Sally? It's, uh, just get the armor to 27. Then I'll get the, um, Iron Troll title, and then I'll just leave it there. So, maybe the side pits, maybe not. We'll see how much XP I need to get. But, I mean, the minus two aptitude's definitely quite noticeable on this skill. 
I thought I left like other skills reasonably early, but clearly not early enough for a troll. Oh, this character's definitely been a bunch of fun. Um, I don't know, I, I find Chamber Angels pretty fun, even if they they have a really tough early game. I used to not like them because I could never survive their early game, but now I'm a bit better at surviving their early game. I can kind of, uh, yeah, have a bit more fun with them. Because they're all about, like, getting ridiculous, like, either ridiculous damage, ridiculous spells. That sort of thing, getting spells at the same time. Man, this character could almost get spells, like, they got enough in for it. They just don't really have any spells that look particularly interesting. And also the fact that I'm focusing my skills so heavily into the armor to try and get the title for that, so... Yeah, I can't really get them spells. Uh, does my damage go up at all? It's got it's 84. I think it's staying around there with this character. Ooh, hey. Of destruction. Because I haven't got any unarmed for a long time, and I... Uh, I guess I might actually reach level 27, seeing that I'm not just leaving it immediately, right? Like, if I had have left it immediately as soon as I finished, um, Zod 5 or something, I would have not reached level 27. Which means I could get a little bit more strength, bring my damage up a little bit that way. What's time to throw the rock? Oh, well. I kind of threw a rock and it would have happened when I saw the guy at a long range. It's like, oh, I can just throw it at It doesn't matter, I've still got like 50 something rocks, which is gonna be tons. I don't think I've seen the loot vault yet. Oh, but I can't tell about it. That doesn't take me to the loot vault either. Um. Alright, final level. Yeah, obviously I'm getting strength for this character to get three more strength. See all my damage is now. It's on 87. Uh, I don't think it'll make it to 100 damage, but it's doing pretty well. Got a rig of fire resist for this negative C invisible flight. I mean, if I want to carry out a flight rig, I mean, that one's alright. Um, oh, I picked up the poison resist one, which is silly. Poison resist for this negative. Uh, okay. Come with boots. Oh, I still got a chart weapons on me. That's kind of silly. Okay, there's more stars. So the da death talisman. Death talismans are not bad for trolls. Um, if I wanted to go extended, that would be the thing to go. But hopefully, I don't need to go extended. Let's see. I only need seven more skill in the armor. Oh, come on. I mean, it'd be even harder getting the talisman skill. Um. Yeah, so I guess I go to the slide pits. Can I get some resist corrosion without? Not easily. Without like uh putting back on the the other rig. All right. I don't want that contaminates you when you take it off. Okay. To be jellyfish. Um, it's probably still fine. Oh, pick up, I should be careful with my rocks, because picking them up with the walls can be a little bit annoying. Okay. Oh, I could, I could do a javelin here. Hold up. When did I get all these javelins? I used to hardly have any javelins. I probably could have used the rock, actually, as it turned out, but whatever. Forty armor class, that's amazing for a troll. Like so for so much of this game I had uh, just under twenty armor class, I think. Yeah, I was thinking of fifteen, went up to like nineteen, went up to twenty one. Alright, well I can go down. And now I'm all the way up to forty. Oh, I should throw a rock at this dude. Even if it's gonna be awkward to pick out the rock afterwards, it's the right thing to do. 
At least the other things don't like auto pick out, which is kind of nice, even when they're on the acid walls. All right, last level. Um, let's let these guys walk up to me. I don't even look too harmful. Oh, that's interesting how those guys can split and then go into like a dispersal trap without setting it off. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's already like actually walking onto the traps that sets them off, like all the walking or splitting or that sort of thing doesn't seem to set them off. I could probably magic map this level, to be perfectly honest. Uh, because I got like seven revelations. Yeah, let's pop one of them. Oh, still six more skill to go. Come on. That's not great. All right. Anyway, I'll, um, exclude off this area. Then I'll just go water explore the rest of the level, I guess. I don't have enough willpower not to get, like, uh, confused by those little eyeballs. So I hope there's not too many more of them on this level. I was not idea with the alarm trap. I'm surprised the guy even avoided the alarm trap. Uh, wait, six is a big number. It is when you're a troll. Yeah, the, the trolls seem to think it's big. Oh, there we go. This is a royal jelly. I want a friendly royal jelly. Um, now what? <laughs> I think the arching helps too much, just yeah. I'm probably gonna teleport at some stage. Um, I think I just bash it up. Okay, there's a lot of bloody acid guys here. Definitely gonna start teleport, although I am marked. Um, oh, good. I should have maybe cancelled out the mic. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not too late to cancel out right now, but these guys already know where I am. Yeah, okay, I'll just do another teleport, I think. Now that I'm not mic'd, I should have a lot better time teleporting out of here. There we go. Well, minus 8 corrosion, it's alright. I don't want to get too much worse than that, though. Oh, this dude's suddenly fighting me. Just peeked around the corner. It was right there. Should probably just get rid of all this exclusion. It doesn't really serve much purpose now. The royal jelly instead. There's a manual of dodging. No, unfortunately, not. I need a manual of armor, not a manual of dodging. That's the only skill this character's got left. I don't need to bring it the Archmage. And that's how I ever get some spells. Like, if I get Manifold Assault, sure, maybe, whatever. But I don't. Okay, the first ring was, uh, first equipment was useless. The second one was, uh, the Charlatan Orb. I can have two orbs or not. Or a Reflection Cold Resist. Or a Manual of Shields. Um, Reflection Cold Resist is fine. I got a Faith Regen, which is also fine. Um... Guess I'll grab the manual of shields. It doesn't really matter though. I'll probably never get the shield skill anymore. Okay, about the glaive. Okay. Well, I think I just get out of here. Um. Where though? Where do I go now? I gotta go peek into the entrance to hell. See if I can clear that one out. Oh, this run seems to be going well since you last tuned in. Yeah, it certainly is for Topic. No, this is going well. This is going great. Um, oh, hold on. I should throw some rocks. Oh, don't. Oh, you dare push me off the staircase. I got out of teleport. Oh, come on. That's better. It was basically anywhere but the center of the map is where I was looking for with that one, so this is fine. And I could go dig myself into the wall or whatever, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, you never finished that lair ending? Oh, I never did finish my lair ending, did I? I mean, I, I suppose I could go into that lair ending or something if I wanted to. No, I, to I totally forgot to come back for that one, I guess. Oh, because I, I never really got the willpower. I mean, it was a little while there where I had to learn a bit of willpower. I certainly didn't keep it anyway, because I don't have it right now. Do I want to do one of these hells? I mean, I could, right? How bad can it be going into a hell without a death talisman? I mean, uh... Which one's the easiest though? So I've got, um, oh, I don't resist this stuff, the foul pestilence. Probably not that one. I mean, maybe it'll be all right. Two and one is pretty easy. I guess I could do two and one. How much more XP do I need? I need like five levels. It's oh, what's they throw a rock into the water? Not exactly easy here. Um, oh come on! I wanted something between me and that Kaku demon. <laughs> Ah, uh, Murray the Curse Skull. I gotta, no, I gotta lignify here and then throw some rocks in his face, I think. He does all the summoning thing, but he also does his torment, which is kind of nasty. I mean, he's basically a, like a buffed up Curse Skull, right? I don't want to go to the cold one. Uh, maybe Tartarus? Maybe Tomb One? Okay, yeah, let's do the Tomb One, I guess. So I got a few more teleports, so they're getting kind of low. I think I'm down to eight now. It's just not actually too bad now that I think about it. I don't have a lot of willpower here, but I think this is fine. Um, I'm going to fog up and just let these guys get a bit closer. Oh, right. Ah. No, if these guys keep confused me, it's bad. I might just slouch them a bit. I don't know if that fog was the most helpful, but I mean, it kind of kept the guys away from me for a little while. Uh, I got a little bit of stat drain, actually. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's never going to drain anything to zero, but it will maybe make a little bit of a difference. Okay. Right. Kufu. There's fog again. Oh, what? Come on. There's gotta be... <sighs> Whatever. I guess I just couldn't throw a rock uh, through that position. Yeah, got like less than 50 strength right now just because it's been drained by... These guys, um... Can I try and slouch these guys? Maybe they're just trying to actually get up to the enemies that are a threat, so I can actually do something to them. Alright, well, this character's not, like, kitted out to finish too, but it's just uh, doing two months for the XP. But I still got, like, what, four more, four skill to go? Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely gonna do it hell. I got fire to this, right? I can do the fiery one. It means no blinking, though, but... Sure. Uh, I might go up a bit. I don't know about this hell. 
you know what? Maybe do I try Tartarus? Go try Tartarus for a while. I have no willpower, but I mean, it's not like it really matters too much in here because it's going to get drained anyway. Huh. I see. I'm going to get slow, don't I? Or maybe not. There it goes the slow. Well, actually, no. It failed to slow me again somehow. And it can definitely be slowed. Is there not a pharmacist or something? And I should get uh, tons of rocks in here. Like you can see all the rocks lying around on that guy. So it should top me straight back up as well, I guess. I'm going to try and fully explore these levels because I want to get as much XP as possible. Because that's what I'm trying to get here. So yeah. Uh, let's have a good 3.6 skill left to go. Am I held? I am held. My cancel off is held. It's not the worst time to be held, but... I at least I got like, yeah, quite a large chunk of cancellation. Alright, did that bring me up the skill or not yet? Nope, still not. I still got to get a 3.4 more skill. I was about to with the wrong, so it's just over one, I think, so it's not quite perfect. Uh, well, I kind of like to have it one or less, but there's no time to trade throwing right now. I am held. Let's see what comes along. I mean, these are fine. And again, that's fine. It's not it's in the middle. Oh, Torment is probably my main target. Ah, held again. It's funny being in hell with, like, a non-fully enchanted set of armor. I mean, I guess that's happened before. <laughs> Just, uh, feels kind of strange. All right. Well, it's level three of Tartarus done. Um, only three more skill to go. This guy's got to notice me. Oh, I don't know if it had or not. It doesn't seem to be moving till I moved, and then it moved up quite a bit, because, of course, my movement is super slow. That's actually a really good choke point. Like, if I move back one, it basically turns into a perfect one. Not that I needed to, because that was not actually that tough. What's the chance of howling me? I mean, just a 90%? Yeah, I mean, that's just going to happen, isn't it? If it tries it, basically. Ah, oh, that's not what I like to see. Um... And sound on the teleport trap, I think. Oh no, that was a bad idea. Right. Um I think I gotta blink back here. Oh, this is not good. I can't start a teleport, but what now? Um, I think I gotta do another blinking. I mean there was a down staircase, but I don't think I could have really taken it. This has gone bad. Oh. You mean I can't blink that way? Because I'm mesmerized. Would it make sense to do a fog? I don't know. This is not looking great. We wouldn't get this guy out of view, unfortunately. Um, I might just stand from time for a little while. Will that get rid of my teleport? Oh, that did not make things better. I'm almost dead. Man, this is... This is disastrous. Um... Stand from time, baby? Yeah, I didn't quite. Uh, oh, that's not that's not too bad. There's a tormentor in here, but... You can kill that one. Oh, no, marked. No, I can't be marked. Um, nah. oh, I'm going to try another healing potion, but that might not necessarily get me anything. I'm going to try and step from time, see if this gets rid of some of these guys. Okay, there's a hound. Gonna net it up. Um, oh, I can't be with a how. 
I'm running out of the cancellations here. I don't know if this is the right tale to do. Uh, can I just have a little bit of fog, please? Take me from this guy. And this guy. Might drink another healing potion, but I feel like I may be recovering in this corner, although there's a tits middle. <laughs> Um, which is not exactly going to help me recover here. Where are my silver javelins? Okay, that's a little bit better. Whew. How's the skill going, though? It's still only 24.5. It's still got a way to go. But I hate these desperate attempts to go through hells and stuff to get skills. But I totally could do pandemonium, but I don't feel like doing pandemonium. I feel like doing hell. Uh, this looks like a javelin situation. What's, what's, what am I doing there? Trying to quiver up the rocks again, but I seem to be doing all sorts of other stuff. Okay, um... Is it 2.3 more to go? I think it is. I mean, I've only got two more levels of Tartarus. Oh, Pan kind of sucks with Chain Reynolds too, anyway. Yeah. Because you are get all the spawns as you're running around, and you're doing a lot more running around. Oh, come on. I'm gonna stay from time, I think. I don't think she's going to be killing that guy, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Did I avoid the... I think I managed to avoid the foul pestilence by bringing out the fog clouds there. Oh, no. It's a, it's a bit of... Okay, well, uh... Javelin type. Silver javelins, of course. How hard is it to hit this guy? Apparently it's easier than the other guy, but, like... <laughs> I'm sure I entirely agree with that. I'm a bit drained. That was probably just a hell effect from going down one of these levels, I'd imagine. Alright, how's this looking? I need a good uh, 2.1 more skill. Good. Two more armors go and to board the moment it's not an iron troll. What how many people have got this title? It can't be that common. Uh let me go query that so it's an iron troll, I think. Oh, I probably should have done like S equals name. Nope, it's just Jeff. Of course it's just Jeff that's got this title. Makes sense. No, it's a reasonably hard one to go for. And Jeff goes for all the titles, so... Uh, where's my silver javelins? Oh, it doesn't get both of them, that's a shame. I could magic map this level to figure out where the boss is. I probably should. And then I could probably avoid the boss because I want to get some experience. It doesn't feel quite right avoiding the boss. Is this mini maze? That could be the boss chambers. Got a loot chamber in here, which I'll exclude for now. All right. Yeah, that mini uh, maze one's definitely got to be the boss. I like how we can often kill these tainted leviathans before they get up to me. That'll make my life easier. Uh, how do I know about the treasure inside this one? Is that okay? Well, it's not really anything that I need. I guess I'll just um check out this ring. Ah, oh, of course, there's a dude in here. And it's got to get rig of just poison resistance. That's a shame. Well, maybe three decks as well, but it's not worth using. 
Um, what was this? Plus 60 even with Venom? Nah, it's not gonna matter with this character. Let's just pop open the vault there. Okay, got another, what? 1.6 skill to go? I got over 100 rocks. I think this is the first time this character's hit over 100 rocks. Uh oh. Definitely need some javelins in here. Um, at least Erich Kigo herself hasn't come along just yet. I do have some teleport scrolls I can read if she does pop her head around. Um, there she is. Hmm. I actually have a lot to do for him. Okay, so... Because I'm not very good with a silencer or anything. I mean, I can throw a rock at it, but that's not even a rock. Actually, I might uh, teleport out here. I'll start the teleport. I don't think I can kill it before it goes off, can I? Oh, that's not where I want to be. Um... Good. <laughs> I was hoping I would be put right in the middle of these guys. I mean, I guess I could clear this area out or something. I should probably be using my rocks instead of my javelins by default. Um, oh, uh, is there some way I can just like steal this fruit? Oh, she got me with the silence. That's really bad. I don't know if I mirror up. Maybe. They can't do my god abilities anymore, which are my main escape options. Um, I think it makes sense to lignify myself some torment immunity. I've still got a bit of resist negative, right? So it seems fine. Because it's not like you could escape out there anyway with that other thing. So yeah, it makes sense to lignify. Anyway, there we go. Got my rune. Um, <laughs> so we've got a 1.1 skill to go, though. Oh. Ah, don't petrify me. I'm running out of cancellation. Oh, no, it's going to petrify me. Not massively great timing with this, this middle coming around the corner either. Right, so... Where do I get my point nine of a skill from? I mean, I get it. going to get out of here. Um... Guess I'm going back to the fiery hell? I don't think I'll be finishing it. I'll just do it until I get the skill up to where I need it. Just another point eight of a skill. Okay. Hmm, I don't even know if I better recover these rocks. I mean, I probably have a rig of flight or something somewhere. Alright, I think I recovered them. It doesn't really matter if I couldn't. So I need another oh, point eight still of a skill. All right, another point seven of a skill. I don't know why I'm taking it so often. It's not going to go up that fast. <sighs> Fine, I'll boomerang this guy, I guess. Where's my boomerangs? Yeah, I mean, the boomerangs are the easiest to use in here because they don't have to worry about them ending up in lava or something. But I think I'll mainly stick to rocks. If I lose a few rocks, it doesn't even matter. I wonder whether Jeff's got, like, all the unique, uh, like, the new unique ones by now or not. Quite, quite possibly. Okay, point five of a skill to go. Um, whoops. Let's throw a rock into the lava. Okay, let's throw another one into the lava. Okay. Uh... I 
believe that's that level done. All right. I need another point three of a skill. Let's go down to the next level, get header. I'm gonna get back to my staircase just in case. Um, also, why is this guy not moving closer? It doesn't really matter. I can get it with the javelins. If I just have my javelins out in here, it feels like it might be a good idea. I don't know, worry about where I'm throwing them so much. So the javelins are quite quick at attacking. 0.7 attack delay, but they don't do as much damage as the rocks. They're probably a rule worse than damage. Um, well, point two of a skill. Um, I might even get to the bottom of here. Um, uh, at this sort of rate. Oh. Don't let the Tormentor do its thing. Hey, look at that. Master Armor. So I did get to the bottom of here. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave it there. Let's get out of here. I know I'm making decent progress on here, but I just want to get a win. Um, <laughs> no messing around that stuff. And hopefully I've still got some blinking left for my orb run. That would be nice. How much do I have left? Um, I mean, four. That's not too bad. Let's grab this orb and get out of here. I am an iron troll, so the title thing didn't lie to me about how to become an iron troll or something. So that's nice as well. Eh. Whatever. I didn't really work to get out of there. <laughs> okay. Oops. Okay. So this is the middle. I gotta... I mean, I probably should have thrown rocks and I might just quiver out the rocks because it doesn't matter if I lose a few of those. Appear to be going this way, so I'll just keep it going this way. Well, it happened, I got weaker. I think I got basically, yeah, one for each, but I got plus, plus four armor class, so that, like, makes up for it. Um, all right, dodge level 11. I want to explore, it's obviously going this way, so I'll keep on going this way. In fact, I could probably dig to the staircase. That might make things quicker. Hey, there we go, at the exit, let's get out of here. That was a very uneventful run. I know that Chamber Angels reduces the number of uh, summons, but it was still extremely uneventful. Okay, well, that's a win. I got the Iron Troll title, and I think, was that my first try, or was that my second try? I think it might be win first try. Five is not the classic five is though. I got, a, got an extended one. I think it was win first try, right? Yeah, it must have been. It's not showing any losses there.